First the starting lineup for the visiting Wonder Boys. Leading off and playing second base, number 39, Marcos Cabranes. Batting second and in center field, number eight, Grant Jones. Batting third, the first baseman, number 11, Logan Schwanke. Batting fourth, the designated hitter, number 29, Nick Jones. Batting fifth and behind the plate, number 24, Christian Olea. Batting sixth and in right field, number seven, Keaton Ronaldo. Batting seventh and at third base, number 10, Brendan Bard. Batting eighth and in left field, number one, Shane Poe. And batting ninth and playing shortstop, number 14, Cole Dawson. And on the mound for Arkansas Tech in game one, number 31, John Gray. The Wonder Boys are coached by Dave Dawson. His assistants are Jonathan Estes, Patrick Miner, and Michael Muller. And now the starters for your Southern Arkansas Mule Riders. Leading off and in center field, number three, Chris Lyles. Batting second and behind the plate, number 19, Grant Rosema. Batting third, the shortstop, number seven, Brandon Nickel. Batting fourth and at first base, number four, Will Richardson. Batting fifth and at third base, number 21, Jaden Woolbright. Batting sixth and in left field, number 11, Trace Shoop. Batting seventh, the designated hitter, number 35, Carter Clairhout. Batting eighth and in right field, number six, Mikey McGinnis. Batting ninth, playing second base, number two, Clay Burrows. And on the mound for the Mule Riders in game one, number 23, Jeremy Adorno. Mule Riders are coached by Justin Pettigrew. His assistants are Adam Anderson, Jacob Caples, Connor Baxter, and Eric Toller. This evening's starting lineups have been brought to you by Domino's Pizza. Domino's Pizza, the official pizza provider of the Mule Riders.
The fans, at this time, we ask that you please stand and remove all headgear as we honor America with the playing of the national anthem. Insurance is accepted, including United Healthcare. They do primary care, weight loss management, DOT physicals, cool sculpting, BioT hormone physicals, and more. They're open Monday through Thursdays from 8 till 4 and Fridays 8 till noon. Your patient applications are being accepted. Be ready for whatever life brings you with Chambliss and Davis Family Practice, where your primary care is their primary concern. Okay, Bobo, I think I've got it now. Being in the rocking chair means you are driving in between two 18 wheelers. That's right. When they ask, what's your 20, that means where are you? That's right. And a state trooper is called a Smokey? You got it, Abby. Have you ever gotten a speeding ticket by a Smokey? No. I remember now. You got stopped on the turnpike. That Oklahoma Smokey gave you a ticket, all right, but it was for going too slow. He said you drove like his grandmother. Debbie, I'll give you $100 to tell me who you've been talking to. No way, Bobo. Keep on trucking. Call Bobo's is trucking at 870-234-2803. And Gregory along with Connor Harrington this evening with Mule Rider Baseball on Max FM. Mule Riders hosting the Wonder Boys of Arkansas Tech. Jeremy Adorno looks like he is ready. The Mule Rider right-hander, the all-time leader in strikeouts at SAU. A 4-3 and three record, 3.74 ERA. This will be his 10th appearance of the season all as a starter. He has one complete game. He's pitched 55 and a third innings, given up 40 hits. 24 runs, 23 of those earned. He's walked 29, struck out 65, and opponents batting 201 against Jeremy Adorno. He is ready to uh, deliver his first pitch, and it'll be to Marcos Cabranas, their second baseman, who bats from the right side, hitting 266, four home runs. Here's the pitch, and that's a strike at the knees on the outer part of the plate. After Cabranas, it'll be uh, Grant Jones, the center fielder, then the first baseman, Logan Schwenke, and the cleanup hitter, Nick Jones, the DH. There's a strike. Hitting fifth to catcher, Christian Olea. Right fielder, Keaton Ranallo is next, or Ranallo. Not 100% sure on that. Brendan Bard, the third baseman then. There's the pitch way outside. Uh, hitting eighth is the left fielder, Shane Poe. And hitting ninth, the shortstop, Cole Dawson. One ball, two strikes, the count on Marcos Cabranas. The pitch just misses outside. It didn't miss by much as uh, Adorno testing those, uh, those corners. The pitch comes in. It's a 
two ball, two strike count. The pitch, breaking pitch, that almost hit him. Didn't break much. Stayed inside, three and two, the count on Marcos Cabranas. The center fielder Grant Jones on deck. Third baseman for the mirror rider, Jaden Woolbright, close to the line. Here's the pitch. That's a little bit low, ball four. Cabranas a leadoff walk for the Wonder Boys. Brings up Grant Jones. Jones batting 273. 10 runs batted in. He's got a couple of homers. He is their center fielder. Bats from the left side. Mentioned Woolbright at third. Brandon Nichols the shortstop. Clay Burrows at second. Will Richardson at first. The pitch from Adorno. Up and away with a fastball for ball one. Trey Shoup in left. Chris Lyles in center. Mikey McGinnis in right. Jeremy Adorno on the mound. And Grant Rosema is behind the plate. Grant's behind Grant. Grant the better. Grant Jones for the Wonder Boys. Adorno's 1-0. It is up two balls, no strikes. When Adorno throws strikes, he's tough. But uh, right now he's struggling with the strike zone. Yeah, Adorno started the game firing two strikes out the gate and has thrown six balls in a row so far. Here comes a 2-0 delivery. That's foul back and out of play. But two and one. Everybody else started a little earlier today. I think we're the we're the last game to get started, if I'm not mistaken here. It's two and one on Grant Jones. UAM put it on Henderson, 11 to 4, throw to first, and the runner's back. They are playing in Monticello. Playing one today and two tomorrow. Everybody's playing one today, two tomorrow, it looks like, if if you can trust the GAC schedule. <laughs> two and one. The pitch from Adorno foul back. It's two and two. So the Nazarene, a winner at home over southeastern Oklahoma State. And again, UAM 11 to 4 over Henderson. Actually, Harding and Washtenaw started about the same time as us. And then uh, Oklahoma Baptist and Swasu started an hour earlier. 2 2 to Grant Jones. Dorno's pitch. Pass lifted in the air to left field. Left fielder Shoop. As it measured, and he makes the catch, and that's out number one. Always good to get that first out. It's the biggest out in baseball, getting that first one. Get the first one out the first, way and get two more. Yeah. First one and the last one sometime are the most difficult, aren't they? Oh, yeah. The hardest two outs in baseball. Logan Schwenke to the plate. He is their first baseman. That's 337, seven homers, 28 runs batted in. Adorno delivers, strike on the outside corner, throw to second, runners back in there. Schwenke is a big fella, 6'4", 220, out of Chandler, Arizona. Let's see, he's a senior, redshirt senior. He's been there a while. The pitch comes. That's a little up. Ball and a strike. That's the crowd. Crowd ain't bad. Probably going to increase after that uh, Panther game is over. And again, the Panthers had a had a big inning there to take a 10-4 lead over Ashdown in the third. 1-1 one, one pitch coming. Swing and a miss. Strike two. Logan Schwenke, the DH Nick Jones is on deck. Your riders wearing their gold tops. Wonder Boys with their green tops. Here's the pitch from Adorno, and he checked his swing. Did that hit him or the bat? I think it hit him. Well, he thinks it did. The umpire's going out. What's he going to do? He's rubbing up the baseball. He tells the hitter, you're staying there. Coach Pedro wants to know, too, and umpire never really gave an indication. If it's not a hit by pitch, it ought to be a strike, shouldn't it? 
Didn't he come around across the plate with the bat? So, from what I'm consider, from the look at Coach P's face, he does not look happy at the call. I think the umpire called a foul ball on the play. Is that what he, okay. He called a foul ball, but the ball hit the knob of the bat and went in fair territory. So, how yeah. could it be That's a, foul not a foul ball? ball? Yeah, if it hit the bat and went fair, then uh, you ought to be out. Really, the only two options there was a hit by pitch or a foul ball, and we got, or a ball yeah. in play, and we got neither of them. Yeah, the batter wanted the hit by pitch. And uh, Coach Pettigrew wanted wanted a fair ball and uh, get the guy out. There's a pitch foul back and out of play. It's one ball, two strikes. Yeah, I mean, they, they should have. I don't know if Coach, Coach Pettigrew was probably asking them to come together and discuss it, but uh, they don't always do that just because you request. One, two count. Runner at first, one out. Here's the pitch. Fastball up two and two. Another throw back to the mound. Got through Adorno's legs. Went right back to second base, so the runner at first wasn't going anywhere. Two or two is three. Two, is two. two, two, or three, two. Two, two. Man, I cannot read that scoreboard when the sun's shining on it like that. Two, two. Pitch swing and a miss at an off-speed pitch, and Schwanky down on strikes. Two out. Well, let's add one more to uh, Jeremy Adorno's list. He uh, he moved past uh, Hayden Simpson for the all-time strikeout lead in his uh, in his game at Washita last week. It was his last strikeout at Washita that that broke the tie and put him in front of Hayden Simpson. The pitch to Nick Jones foul back out of play. I would have, you know, maybe, maybe been rooting for Hayden to keep that record for a long time. But last time I saw him, he was wearing a Henderson State uniform. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's pitching coach up at Henderson State now. Oh, one pitch foul back to the backstop. I'm just kidding. In case some of the, I don't think any of the Simpson family's listening in. Well, they may be because that Henderson game's over. No balls, two strikes to Nick Jones. Runner at first, Marcos Cabranas. Two men are out. The 0-2 from Adorno. Ooh, man, just missed. Runner goes, throw to second base. Nobody's there on the bag. Runner's headed for third base. All the way to third goes uh, Cabranas. I guess every, I don't know. I think everybody thought that was a strike, and nobody covered second base. The the throw from the catcher was right down the middle of the plate, right off, right above the bag. Would have been a perfect throw if anybody had been there to receive it. and They probably would have got him out. I think the runner was doing a delayed steal, and nobody got the call on the runner going yeah, to I second. Think you're right. So, will be a stolen base and an error on the catcher on the throw. That's a tough error, but it fouled back to the backstop. Two balls, two strikes. I think it's one two. It says two two on the scoreboard, but I believe it's a one two count. Yes, yep, one two count. Correct. Yeah, on that steal, he just delayed steal, and I guess nobody called runner, and it was a perfect throw by Rosma, but nobody was there. Yeah, nobody home. Nick Jones with a one two count. Runner at third with two out. Here's the pitch. That's fouled off to the left side, out of play. And it landed in the back of a truck. Did it really? Well, that's show better than the windshield. Well, it'd be tough to uh, have that runner come around and be the run, be the run that decides this ball game after something crazy like that. Runner third with two out. One two delivery to Nick Jones on the way. There's strike three called. Took something off of it. Caught the outside corner. And down on strikes goes Nick Jones. So that retires the Wonder Boys in the inning. No runs, no hits, one error, and one man left the board after a half inning. Arkansas Tech nothing. SAU coming to bat. This is Mule Rider Baseball. 
Bodcall Bank has known the benefit of hometown banking for over 120 years, and we are proud to offer you just that with local leadership and local decisions. Hi, I'm Gina Gore, Vice President of Bodcall Bank. Come see us in Stamps or visit one of our other locations in Magnolia or Texarkana. We are committed to making your experience as our customer priority one. Whatever your banking needs may be, Bodcall Bank is here and ready for what's ahead. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Southern Medical Group welcomes the newest member to their expert team, nurse practitioner Haley Quintana. Haley sees all patients, no matter the age, during the hours of 8 a.m. until 5 p.m. Monday through Friday. Most insurances are accepted. Southern Medical Group has you covered no matter the health issue, from allergies and colds to DOTs and screenings. Stop by 211 East Stadium Street in Magnolia or call 870-234-5995. Southern Medical Group, our family taking care of yours. Hey guys, Lucas Cheatham back to tell you about HealthQuest Therapy. Spring brings out the best things like vacations and time at the lake. Gone fishing lately? Well, out on the water is where you'll always find me. Some days, fishing out of a boat can really test my balance. You may feel off balance at times yourself. My mom, Christy, and her team provide physical, occupational, speech therapy, dry needling, and even offer vital stem therapy for swallowing problems. Visit online at healthquesttherapy.net or stop by 1515 East Main in Magnolia today. Oh yeah, I got another bite. John Gray, the starting pitcher for Arkansas Tech with a 4-2 and two record, 3.78 ERA. His 11th start, 12th appearance on the season. He's pitched 47 and two-thirds innings, given up 41 hits, 21 runs, 20 earned, walked 23, struck out 48. Opponents batting 232 against John Gray and uh, said he's a, he is a right-hander. 5'10", right-handed pitcher from Youngsville, Louisiana, transferred from the University of New Orleans. I mentioned earlier his numbers and Jeremy Adorno's numbers are very similar, except for the strikeouts. Jeremy's strikeouts considerably higher. The pitch to Chris Lyles, ground ball to the left side to Cole Dawson moving to his left up the middle, and he throws out. Chris Lyles, 6-3. So one pitch and one out for John Gray. Lyles came in hitting 273. So his uh, his average takes a little bit of a dip after his first at bat. And that will bring Grant Rosema to the plate, the mule rider catcher. Well, it was a tough weekend for SAU softball. Russellville. Pitches a fastball for a strike to Grant Rosema. Rosema hitting 252. Six home runs, 24 runs batted in. They moved up the softball series to uh, get out of Russellville before the uh, before all the crowd arrives for the eclipse. A one pitch is low for a ball. So they played one yesterday or last night and then two today and just finished up and Unfortunately, Arkansas Tech won all three of those. Russellville's right, almost dead center in the path of the eclipse. There's a strike to Rosema. So they are going to have a huge, they probably already have a huge crowd in, uh, in Russellville. Softball team might have to sleep on the bus. That might be why they got swept. Pitch outside. I'm joking. <laughs> I am joking. Two balls, two strikes. Get get Browning in trouble. Brandon Nickel on deck. He hits third in the Mule Rider order. He's their shortstop. Will Richardson, the first baseman, the cleanup hitter. There's a pop-up. That's going to get back, hopefully, out of play. Catcher gives Chase back to the backstop, and it will clear the backstop. Not by much. Bounces on the concrete on the other side, right behind that row of seats. And a five-kid layout for the foul ball. <laughs> really? Five, five kids that. laid out for that ball. Just to give it to him, you're out of baseball player. Yeah, don't even get to keep it. Let's give him a well, We don't have snow cones. We need, we need snow cones. Give the kid a snow cone. There's a foul back out of play off the bat of Rosemont. Roseman's battling. Fouled off two pitches in a row. 2-2 two, two count. 
That was might have been some home run he hit against Monticello. Oh yeah, on Tuesday. That, that ball could have cleared the parking lot back there. And there's strike three called a fastball down the middle, and he just couldn't pull the trigger. So Rosema rung up. That is out number two. First two batters retired of the Mule Riders here in the bottom of the first. Brandon Nickel steps to the plate for SAU. Nickel hitting 346. Speaking of home runs, he had one also. They went back to back on uh, Tuesday against Monticello. He's up to 11 home runs, 34 runs batted in. Base is empty. The pitch coming. Outside for ball one. We don't have near the wind we had Tuesday. That wind was blowing across left to right Tuesday. And if you just now, got the ball in the air to right field, there is yeah. a chance that ball was getting out the ballpark. And I don't think Rose Rosemus would have probably gone out against that wind. Uh, he hit the fire out of his. What Nickel did, too, Nickel went opposite field, kind of right center. Yeah, his was more of a line drive, but... You know, both balls were hit, and as soon as they were hit, everybody knew the ballpark. Oh, yeah. Grants yeah. was gone, and then Nichols had a chance to get out. Here's the pitch to Nickel outside. 3-0? Three and, three and oh? Yeah, 3-0. and oh. They're pitching around Nickel. Not a bad idea with Brandon's 11 home. Brandon's big pop at the plate with 11 runs on the year. Will Richardson on deck. Fastball is a strike at the knees on the inside part of the plate so we go to three and one it might have been ball four if it hadn't been a 3-0 count three and one gray on the mound from the stretch to the plate fastball foul back count goes full three and two no score yet we're in the bottom of the first this game's going nine innings folks so you still have time to get out here and enjoy some baseball. Sun's still high in the sky. Three-two pitch. Nickel pops it up to the right side. That could be trouble, though. Second baseman going out. Right fielder coming in, but uh, second baseman Cabranas gets there and uh, just about maybe seven, eight feet fair down the right field line. He hauls it in. And that takes care of the Mule Riders. They go in order in the bottom of the first. No score after one. This is Mule Rider Baseball. That's the sizzle of McDonald's new hotter and juicier 100% fresh beef quarter pounder burger. Sounds good, right? Hold up. You can't hear that mouth-watering sound or taste that beefy, melty, cheesy deliciousness until you order yours, because that's when they cook it. So if you want to hear this, followed by this, mm. hit this and turn into McDonald's now. McDonald's new hotter and juicier quarter pounder burgers. So good, they'll leave you speechless. Hotter and juicier compared to prior quarter pound beef patty. Available in most restaurants in contiguous U.S. Not available in Alaska, Hawaii, and U.S. territories. Knock your taste buds out of the park with the Corner Clubhouse. 100 South Washington on the Magnolia Square. We're talking mouth-watering steaks cut in-house. Burgers, loaded nachos, salads, wraps, quesadillas, and more. Choose from an array of legendary baked potatoes like the chicken fajita and chicken bacon ranch. Menu update picks and more search the corner clubhouse on facebook daily specials a full bar big screens for the big games and only a short stop away it's the corner clubhouse satisfy your cravings with a grand slam today well one inning in the books with no score the wonder boys will have their five six and seven hitters due up in the top of the second inning a little later our magnolia regional medical center Mid-game summary will come your way at the MRMC Primary Care Clinic. You always feel like family. Dr. Neal and Becky Pierce treat patients of all ages and specialize in wellness checks and illness recovery. Call for an appointment at 235-3550. Christian Olea steps to the plate, bats from the right side. He is their catcher, batting 288. Three homers, 24 runs batted in. Jeremy Adorno back to the mound. First pitch misses outside for ball one. The Riders got out of a crazy situation there in the top of the first with throw down to second base and nobody there and runner ending up at third base with two out. 
Fortunately, he got that last guy to strike out. 2-0 count on Christian Olea. He wouldn't make it a habit of walking the leadoff, man, would he? 2-0 pitch. That's, nope, he's not going to walk this guy. Line drive out to left field, and it carries to Trey Shoup. Makes the catch out number one. Right on cue, Dan. Right on cue. Oh, he hit, he hit it right on those, too, didn't he? Uh, Carry, though, out to Trey Shoup. 11-8, Magnolia after four innings. Right down the street against Ashdown. Pitch from Adorno, breaking pitch, swing and miss. Keaton Ranallo at the plate. What's he hitting? 317, five home runs, 32 runs batted in. He's their RBI leader. A one pitch. That's lined out to left. That's going to get down for a base hit. That one's not going to carry all the way to left. One out single for Ranallo. So one on, one out for the Wonder Boys. Brendan Bard, their third baseman, comes to the plate hitting 285. Three home runs and 18 runs batted in. How about the old double play ball? There's the pitch from Adorno. Ooh, I thought that would thought that caught the inside corner, but apparently not. I think Jeremy Adorno thought it did too. I think the umpire wanted to call it a strike for a second and then just the last second decided not to. One ball, no strikes to Bard. Adorno's pitch, same spot. Almost identical spot there, and it misses inside, 2-0. and If it's missing inside, it's not missing by much, I'll tell you that. that no, looked, that was close. That looks really close. Two balls, no strikes to Brendan Barr, chain Poe on deck. Runner has a big lead at first, the pitch, and that's a strike. That went pretty much down the middle. He must have been taken or fooled badly. That was a 2-1 pitch. Adorno stretches. Another big lead over at first. 2-1 deliveries, foul back out of play. Count goes to 2-2. Two and two. Night, beautiful night for baseball. I don't see a cloud, do you? Not a cloud in the sky, but the sun's out, so it's a it's a great day for Mule Rider baseball. I'll tell you that. I would. A lot of folks would give anything to have this uh, this weather. All the time. next Monday, especially for the eclipse. There's a line drive, good leaping catch at third by Woolbright, and the runner over at first gets back, and Woolbright will hold on to it. I didn't think he could get that high. He got up in the air. Yeah, that was a very good athletic play by Jade Wolbright over at third base. Saved a hit, possibly saved a runner going first to third. And there's two outs now with just a runner on first from that play. That brings Shane Poe in. Poe batting 315, does not have a home run. 11 runs batted in. The pitch from Adorno, and he hit him. That one came in on him, and boy, that got up high on his body, too. I, I'm hoping it got a helmet. It was either the helmet or like that, or right on the shoulder, like right on the shoulder when he turned, but it wasn't, it was close to that head neck area when he got hit. He didn't appear to be uh, injured as he went down to first. Of course, he may just be one of those guys that won't rub it. First and second with two out for their number nine hitter, Cole Dawson. Betting 192. Adorno's pitch. That's low and outside for a ball. One ball, no strikes. I don't know this for a fact, but I'm assuming he's the son of the head coach. He's from he, he's from Russellville. Infielder. Their coach's name is Dave Dawson. He's been there a while. And the pitch is up. 2-0 the count on Cole Dawson. Well, after Dawson, we get back to the top of the order. I'd just soon not get there with bases loaded. Adorno checks second base. Now another peak. Now the pitch. 
And that's grounded to the left side. Nickel to his left, underhands to second to get the force play and to retire the Wonder Boys. In the inning for Arkansas Tech, they come up with no runs on one hit, no errors, two men left aboard. Go to the bottom of the second with no score. This is Mule Rider Baseball. If you're like most Americans, you spend over eight hours a week in your car. So naturally, you want to be satisfied with its performance. That's why you need to know about Spitler Tire and Auto. Folks around here have been trusting Spitler Tire and Auto for over 17 years. They have 10 service bays to handle all kinds of repairs, tune-ups, brakes, mufflers, oil changes, tires, and more. Whatever your car or truck needs, trust the experts at Spitler Tire and Auto in the Dairy Queen Shopping Center, 521 East Main in Magnolia. Celebrate summer with a great CD rate from People's Bank. We're offering a CD rate of 5.01% annual percentage yield for 10 months. Minimum balance is $1,000. This offer is effective and APY is accurate from June 1st, 2023 and subject to change at any time. Come see us today at People's Bank. Substantial penalty for early withdrawal. See Bank for details. Member FDIC. My bank is People's Bank. Riders with their four, five, and six hitters due up. Will Richardson, Jaden Woolbright, and Trey Shoup do up here in the second inning for SAU. John Gray back to the mound for the Wonder Boys of Arkansas Tech. No runs, one hit for Tech so far. No runs, no hits, one error for SAU thus far. Richardson to the plate, hitting 357, six home runs, 36 runs batted in. Pitch is a fastball, a strike on the outer part of the plate. Will, among the guys with with uh, numerous at bats, leads the team in hitting and RBIs. Burroughs got a 375 average, but doesn't have uh, near as many at bats. There's a pitch up, but uh, I believe Clay Burrows, that, that job may be his to lose at, at second base. He's uh, he's playing very well only since getting the start for, for the series last weekend and uh, then Tuesday against Monticello. Pitch in the dirt, bounces back to the backstop. I think Burrows' first start of the year, maybe it would have came against Delta State in the midweek game. Because they started the midweek game against Delta. He started seven games, so. He may have four, started one. Five. More. He must have had a couple of other starts somewhere. Well, he actually yeah, this did. will be his eighth start this game. Yeah, he actually did start a couple of games early in the year when they were moving around people at shortstop. Yeah, that's true. They weren't they weren't set on nickel playing shortstop early. There's a liner down the left field line. If it's fair, it's gone. Nope, it hooks foul. And out of play. Over the wall in left field, but it hooked just foul. That was the right part of the ballpark to hit a ball right there. That ball might have cleared the fence by a few feet, but man, that ball was barely foul. That wasn't that was really close. Yeah, that was not foul by much. It was over that little piece of wall sticking out where the gate is down there. Uh, so, yeah, man, he hit that one on the nose. And you don't ever see people, or very seldom see people, straighten those out for home runs. Almost never. Here's the pitch to Richardson. Fastball. Tried to check, but he went around and he struck out. I tried to set him up, but he... Just refused to cooperate. <laughs> that pitch was down. Down and away. Yeah, that break to it. And he thought it was a fastball, I think, when it left his hand and he was way out in front. Couldn't hold up. So Richardson strikes out. Jaden Woolbright, the third baseman, steps in, hitting 325, five home runs, 25 runs battered in. The pitch outside for ball one. I forget we've got a radar, got a radar there, but I, down there. by the time I look, it's always uh, been cleared. 
Ball and no strikes to Woolbright. Trey Shoup on deck. The pitch. That's, I guess, a little up. 2-0. A little later, uh, as we do every game, we'll spotlight a mule rider. Join us for our Bide Call Bank mule rider spotlight. Bide Call Bank, local bank, local people, serving us in South Arkansas since 1903. Fastball a little up and out. And it's 3-0 and to Jaden Woolbright. Ray delivers another, and that caught the outside corner for a strike. I'm going to say, you got to give one of those corners. He was not giving Redorno the inside corner with a right-handed hitter. He did give Gray the outside corner there. So it's a 3-1. Can't of course, it also was 3-0. Here's the pitch. Fastball, swing and a miss, strike two. Wilbury didn't get cheated on that swing. He, he let nope. it rip on that one. And the pitcher, great, let, let it rip, too. That was that was probably his highest fastball velocity of the game, too. Yeah. It was a high-velocity pitch and a high-velocity swing, and there's a pop-up to the right side on the next pitch, and the first baseman called off in his position by the second baseman, baseman Cabranas, and he makes the catch. So there are two out. The runners have not had a base runner as of yet. Trey Shoup, the left fielder, comes in for the Mule Riders. So far, John Grace throwing a no-hitter. I'm going to try to jinx him early. <laughs> Shoop steps into the box. 304, four homers, 23 ribbies. The pitch on the way outside. So far, we've got a pretty good pitcher's duel going. Last week at Washita on Friday... Riders had 31 hits in that double hitter on Friday. There's a high fly ball deep to left field, backing up, or center fielder rather. Center fielder at the wall, and it's over the wall. He was going back, and then he looked like he settled in on the warning track, like he might have a shot at it. I think it's just because he ran out of room, and all he could do is look up and watch it go. So there's the first hit for the Mule Riders. I did jinx his no hitter. Yeah, that ball that was hit by Trey Shoup, that was on a line, and if there was any wind, it kind of helped it out, but, man, off the bat, you knew it had a chance to get out, and center fielder kept going back and then looked up, and he just ran out of room. Carter Clairhout, the designated hitter, steps in now for SAU, batting 324, two home runs, 28 runs batted in, and the pitch off-speed pitch in there for a strike. Carter Clare had had a good week last week at Washita. I still haven't seen him hit a home run yet. He's got two on the year. Did he show a bunt there? He did show a bunt. I think the third baseman was playing pretty far back on the turf and thought, you know, maybe I can lay it down and get on first for the next guy. Yeah, he pulled it back and took strike two. So third baseman really backs up now. 0-2 delivery to Claire Hout. Fouls it back to the backstop. Count stays 0-2. Mikey McGinnis on deck. The mule rider right fielder. Bodco Bank, three locations to serve you. North Jackson and Magnolia. Thomas Street and Stamps. Richmond Road and Texarkana. Bodco Bank, local bank, local people. The pitch to Claire Hout. Misses, ball one, one ball, two strikes. Claire had stepped back, now he's back in. Crowding the plate, right up on that front line and left foot's on the back line. One, two, delivery. Claire had off the fist, fouls it back to the backstop. Count stays one and two. They don't have as big of a crowd of kids down there playing ball just yet. May not have a big crowd for the kids. There's a jamboree going on over at the Boys and Girls Club that's right. this weekend. Yeah, that's going Friday on. Friday and Saturday. True, yeah. With baseball. Baseball season kicking off everywhere. One, two, pitch. That hits. Clear out. So he is aboard. And that'll bring Mikey McGinnis to the plate. The Mule Rider right fielder. Hitting 283, five home runs, 17 runs batted in. 
One to nothing. SAU leads after the solo home run from Trey Shoup to center field. Yuna steps in here. There's not a whole lot of wind here tonight. That big old giant flag in center field moving just barely. There's a strike called outer part of the plate. Yeah, the wind's not blowing hard enough to pick that big thing up. A one pitch to McGinnis. Foul back out of play. He's in the hole. No balls, two strikes. Everybody's playing back pretty good for Arkansas Tech in the outfield. It's an 0-2 pitch on the way, up and away, ball one. Ball and two strikes. Starting today, I'm not sure. I mean, I know what, well, about the 6 o'clock start. We always do that on a Friday night, or we try to when the schedule holds. But uh, the double header tomorrow doesn't start till 2. Foul back, next pitch. Stays one and two to McGinnis. Of course, you got lights. Well, I say we don't have to worry about rain. I'm not sure about that. 11-8, Magnolia in the bottom of the fifth. Doesn't look like we're going to have to worry about rain today, tonight, though. No. No, like I said, you can't even, there's not a cloud anywhere. Good, good at bat by McGinnis there, just uh, fouling off a, a pitch that was close, fouled it to the backstop. He's battling. He's fouled off a lot of pitches this at bat, and count stays at one and two. One ball, two strikes. Claire Howard gets his lead at first. He's got a pretty good lead over there. The pitch on the way, fastball missed outside. Deuces wild here in the second inning for SAU. I was surprised to see Claire out getting that big of a lead over there at first base, but I think it may be as a one-way lead. He's one for two stolen bases. The pitch, fastball, outside count full now. And this is a great at-bat from Mikey McGinnis. 3-2, two, two outs. Carter's going to be on the roll on the pitch. First baseman in behind the runner now at first base. And he takes off the pitch outside, ball four. That fastball just a little off the plate. And the Mule Riders with two on, with two out, and Clay Burrows to the plate, their second baseman. That was very close. Yeah, that pitch didn't miss by much for Mikey's ball four, but it's ball four nonetheless, and we got first and second with two outs. Burrows hitting 391. Does not have a home run. Eight runs batted in. Pitch to him. He hits it high in the air out towards center. Center fielder backs up, has plenty of room, and he makes the catch on Clay Burrows. Off the bat, that one got me excited, but uh, comes up short. A fly out to center off the bat of Clay Burrows. Mule Riders, though, uh, they, they bust the scoreboard first. They uh, get the first run of this game, a solo home run from Trey Shoup. One run on one hit, no errors. And two men left to board for the Mule Riders. We're through two. SAU leads one nothing. This is Mule Rider Baseball. What do I like about being a local agent for Farm Bureau Insurance? Above all, I like helping people. Using my insurance experience to make Columbia County a better, safer place. Insurance is a necessity, and I take pride in helping people find the right coverage for all of their needs. Hi, I'm Mike Jones, agency manager at Farm Bureau Insurance. Give me a call at 870-234-1966 and let me show you how we can save you time and money. I'm Faith Armstrong. If you worry about your safety or your loved ones, Columbia County Ambulance Service would like you to know about CareLink. CareLink provides an instant link to emergency response every minute, every day. The standard version provides protection surrounding the home, and a mobile unit offers protection anywhere. The area covered includes Columbia, Hempstead, Nevada, Washita, Lafayette Counties, and Claiborne Parish. Call Columbia County Ambulance today to schedule your installation. 
The Magnolia Regional Medical Center General Surgery Clinic at 1005 North Jackson in Magnolia is excited to introduce to Magnolia Dr. Jose Zamora, General Surgeon. Dr. Zamora brings more than 30 years of surgery experience to Southwest Arkansas and looks forward to serving our community. Dr. Zamora performs most types of general surgery procedures and takes direct appointments or referrals from your primary care provider. Call the MRMC General Surgery Clinic today to schedule your appointment, 870-235-3600. Wonder Boys in the top of the third inning. They are at the top of the order. That's where the Mule Riders will be in the bottom of this inning as well. Marcos Cabranas at the plate. The pitch from Adorno. It's a fastball, and it is up for ball one. one nothing SAU through two. Adorno's pitch outside a fastball, and it's 2-0. Jeremy has walked one and hit one so far in this game through two innings. So he's been a little wild. 2-0 pitch, caught the outer corner, took a little off of that one. Just caught that outside corner. It's 2-1. and one. Woolbright is, uh, again, over close to third. That pitch a little up, I guess, 3-1 the count on uh, Cabranas. Brown is at 266. Here's the pitch. It's up a fastball, and he walked him. Well, so far, one, one freebie per inning. He walked the leadoff batter in the first and the third. He hit a batter with two out in the second. Grant Jones at the plate, 270 hitter. Here's the pitch to him outside, ball one. And Coach Pettigrew is going to go out and talk. Jeremy Adorno struggling with that strike zone. He's been, he's been wild, and Coach Pettigrew wants to have a conversation with him. A little later, we've got our Magnolia Regional Medical Center mid-game summary. The American Cancer Society recommends that women receive annual mammograms beginning at age 40. At Magnolia Regional Medical Center, they offer state-of-the-art digital mammography, in a comfortable and friendly environment, call to schedule your appointment at 235-3516. Connor on the SAU golf team. When y'all when's your when's your all's next tournament? We uh the when our women's team leaves for a tournament this Sunday and then the guys team goes to Cabot, Arkansas the the following Monday and then our conference tournament's the week after. So we'll go back to back weeks after this week off. Okay. Ball and no strikes to Grant Jones. He swings on the first pitch and fouled it back out of play. Kind of surprised with Adorno being a little wild that he would be swinging on that first pitch, maybe figuring after a visit with uh, Coach Pettigrew that first pitch was going to be grooved. It's almost every time a coach goes out for a visit, that next pitch is probably going to be a strike. One ball, one strike throw to first. Runner dives back in there. I don't know. It seems like it goes in, in, in runs. I've seen a lot of them. There, there are times when it just seems like pitcher goes or coach goes out and talks and, and he walks the guy. <laughs> <laughs> like it usually depends on whether I want him to walk him or not. There's the 1-1. One, one. He showed bunt, pulled it back, pitch outside for a ball. Pretty tight over there at uh, Panther Field. 11-10 Magnolia in the top of the fifth. Wait a minute, Jeff. Said bottom of the fifth earlier. Titus Nelson pitching for the Panthers. 2-1 pitch. He showed bunt, pulled it back, missed outside. A 3-1 count. Adorno in danger of walking the first two batters here in the third inning. Adorno, he, he's consistently missing up and away in the zone. Let's see if he can make an adjustment for the rest of this inning. Big lead at first, 3-1 delivery, and he bunts it foul. Still trying to sacrifice, and he got a got a good pitch to, to lay down, but he bunted it foul. Trying to push it over to third with the third baseman back. 
Now the count's full three and two. The runner at first, Cabranas. Grant Jones at the plate. Payoff pitch from Adorno on the way. And a fastball. And that must have hit him. Yeah, it got him on the, I think he's wearing an elbow guard. It got him on the guard. I say, I, I wasn't sure whether it hit him or not, but uh, Rosemo was not hus hustling to the backstop, so I figured it was a hit by pitch. So a walk and a hit by pitch. He was going to get first base on that pitch regardless. That would have been ball four anyway. So first and second, nobody out. Logan Schwenke at the plate. Adorno's first pitch to him. Missed high for ball one. Now they're going to get the Mule Rider bullpen active. Adair's run into the bullpen. Warp speed. His catcher right on his heels. Here's the 1-0 pitch. Strike on the outside corner. Ben Muldoon. Headed down there for, to do the catching in the bullpen, or at least he's one of them. Set another catcher down there, too. In case they want to get two guys up. One ball, one strike to Schwenke. Adorno spins towards second and throws back there. First two batters have reached for Arkansas Tech here in the top of the third inning. on the edge of the grass over at first with Richardson. 1-1 one, one pitch, and he lays down a bunt out in front of the plate. Adorno fields, throws to first base. That's the only play, and the sacrifice is successful as the other runners move up to second and third. So the sacrifice gets done for the Wonder Boys. Got two in scoring position now for Nick Jones. Nick hitting 269, one home run, 20 are driven in. First pitch, off speed pitch in there for a strike. Adair is uh, throwing pretty quickly down in the bullpen to get warmed up. There's strike two. I think Adorno may have seen. Adair headed for the bullpen. <laughs> A little motivation there. Yeah. But runners at first and second. But he's ahead on the count. Oh, and two to Jones. That pitch up the middle. And Nickel trying to get it. It wasn't hit hard, but it gets through. And two runs are going to score for Arkansas Tech. Man, that ball up the middle off the end of the bat and just carried out of the reach of Brandon Nickel, the Mule Rider shortstop. Yeah, that was just like a high chopper. That ball might have landed in the batter's, like the batter's circle and it just took a high hop and just nickel was shaded to the to the hole on the left side and he just couldn't get to it and it's an RB two RBI single for Nick Jones. First pitch to Christian Olea fouled off to the right side out of play in with it hitting so quickly the runners were just off to the races both scored easily as that ball got through the infield. Runner at first, two runs in, one man out. There's a fly ball to center. It'll be right at Chris Lyles. Has to come in a little bit, and he makes the catch. Two out. Couldn't tell if Chris Lyles got a beat on the ball. That ball sounded like it was hit off the end of the bat. I think Lyles thought... It was just going to be hit right to him on the line, and then he had to take a couple hard steps in to go make the play. Yeah, that's one of the toughest ones to handle. Those balls hit right straight at you, too, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Keith Ranallo at the plate. First pitch in there for a strike. One on, two out. Two runs in. It's those two free passes, the walk and hit by pitch that came in to score on that uh, softly hit single up the middle off the bat of Nick Jones. 0-1 delivery is foul back out of play. It's 0-2. So going back to that sack bunt, uh, Dan, the, the guy that laid the sack bunt down leads the team in home runs. 
Really? He leads the team with home runs with seven and is tied for third on the team in doubles with eight and leads the team in triples. Well, he laid down a uh, perfect sack bunt. There's a ground ball to the left side. Baseball is a crazy game sometimes. You're in a situation where you want to sacrifice your home run leader and then the guy that comes up behind him just kind of has one off the end of the bat that sneaks through up the middle. 0-2 to Ranallo. Adorno's pitch. That's hit. That one's hit hard through the hole on the left side. And runner from first will stop at second. That's the hardest hit ball of the, of the inning. So first and second with two out for Brendan Bard. Bard's a long, lean fella. 6'4". And only 180 is what he's listed at. I'm not sure he gets there. There's a fastball caught the outside corner for a strike. They got two guys in the lineup that are 6'4". Him and Schwenke. Ranallo over at first is he's no midget. The pitch comes. That's hit high in the air out to right field. Tough sun field, but the right fielder McGinnis is there. And he makes the catch to retire the Wonder Boys. But not before. They scored two runs in the inning on two base hits. There are no errors. Two men left aboard. We go to the bottom of the third. SAU trailing 2-1 to one to Arkansas Tech. This is Mule Rudder Baseball. After I drop the kids off, I have to run across town for a meeting, hit the gym during lunch, Jake has soccer tonight, and Emily has gymnastics? Oh, did I turn on the crock pot this morning? <laughs> With a never-ending to-do list, it's easy to forget something important, like setting up a life insurance plan with Shelter Insurance. Your local shelter agent can show you how to create a safety net for your family. Shelter Life Insurance Company, Columbia, Missouri. Ask shelter agent Gary Donfera about a free personal protection review today. Tri-County Oil is a proud sponsor of SAU Mule Rider Sports. Tri-County is your number one source for a complete line of Exxon Mobil Oils, K1 Kerosene, Mineral Spirits, antifreeze, no tax farm diesel, tax paid road diesel, and 91 octane non-ethanol gasoline, plus gear oil, grease, motor and hydraulic oil, transmission fluids, and more. Tri-County Oil on North Vine in Magnolia. Open Monday through Friday, 7 to 5. Why would you go anywhere else for oil or gas? We appreciate your business at Tri-County Oil. SAU Top of the order up here in the bottom of the third inning. Chris Lyles, Grant Rosma, Brandon Nickel do up for SAU to face Gray John. John rolling along with through the first five batters of SAU. But then Trey Shoup got him started with a solo home run, and we had a hit batter and a, and a walk. In that last inning before the flyout ended it, a pitch up for ball one. That ball was hit hard, too, by Burroughs, too. That wasn't, yeah, yeah. wasn't no soft out. That was a hard, loud out to end the second. Let's we'll see if they can pick up where they left off. Pitch to Lyles. He pops that one up a mile high. The second baseman, Cabranas, who was kind of behind the bag, moves over and makes the catch pretty much in his normal second base position. So Lyles flies to second. There's one away. And Grant Rosma... Steps to the plate for SAU. Batting 250 on the season with six home runs and uh, 24 runs batted in. Magnea and Ashdown tied at 11. Magnea batting in the bottom of the six pitch outside for a ball. Former Mule Riders, the head coach over for the Magnolia Panthers. Yeah. Zach Muldoon, he was a he was a mule rider for six years. 1-0 pitch strike on the outside corner to Rosma. He came his first year, his freshman season, he ended up redshirting his freshman year, but he, he came in 2016. I think that's the first year that Zach 
Yeah, him and Zach were the same age, I yeah, believe. I think so. 1-1 one, one pitch. That's popped up. That's another mile-high pop-up. This one to the left side. Third baseman makes the catch in foul ground. And throws it around, throws it all the way into right field. Two out. Brandon Nickel now to the plate for SAU. As we redshirted in 16, Zach did. Zach Muldoon, uh, former catcher for the Mule Riders. And got a COVID red shirt. Yeah. And I think 21 was his last year. Six seasons, anyway. He was a, he was a Mule Rider. There's another pop-up. This one a little farther out into shallow center field. Center fielder Jones has a long way to run, but he gets there and makes the catch. So Mule Riders with three pop-ups go one, two, three in the bottom of the third. Arkansas Tech leads two to one. This is Mule Rider baseball. KBMZ FM, Waldo Magnolia, and KELD FM, Hampton, Camden, El Dorado, 99.1 and 106.5, the new Max FM. Short-term plans may change, but stay focused on three lifetime goals, planning for retirement, preparing for the unexpected, and creating an estate plan. Get in touch with one of Magnolia's Edward Jones financial advisors, Edward Jones, member SIPC. As leaders in the automotive industry, Magnolia Motor Company believes in going the extra mile for our customers. That's why we offer only the best inventory with competitive pricing designed to fit your budget and make the vehicle of your dreams become reality. And that's not all. At Magnolia Motor Company, we value your time and convenience. That's why we offer a virtual shopping experience, allowing you to explore our inventory from the comfort of your own home. We are conveniently located on the 7982 Bypass in Magnolia. Call 234-4777 or visit our website at magnoliamotorcompany.com. Magnolia Motor Company. Quality first. The Greenhouse Cottages of Wentworth Place have been recognized as Arkansas's top short-term rehabilitation and long-term care facility by U.S. News and World Report. At Wentworth Place, their mission is to provide the highest quality care to their residents, and they are honored to receive this prestigious award. Their cottages are homes large enough to comfortably accommodate 12 elders with private rooms, complete bath, a shared living room, open kitchen, dining area, and a spa located in the heart of Magnolia. It's the Greenhouse Cottages of Wentworth Place. Visit cottagesofwentworthplace.com. Wonder Boys with Shane Poe and Cole Dawson do up in the top of the fourth inning. And then uh, Marcos Cabranas, their leadoff hitter. Wonder Boys lead 2-1 to one over SAU. Here's the pitch. Direct on the outside corner to Shane Poe. Off-speed delivery to get ahead of Poe. Poe batting 315. No homers, 11 driven in. He's their left fielder. Dornos pitch. Beauty, Steer right. Hard slider. Oh, yeah. Hard slider. 0 2. A lot of times I just guess, but I can't today because you, you're a former pitcher. Pitch misses outside. <laughs> well, that's an 83 mile per hour slider. And Dan. I never throw a fastball that was 83 miles per hour. <laughs> so I don't know if you called me a pitcher. Well, I guarantee you, I, I never threw anything that hard. Here's the one two pitch. Only thing I could pitch at was slow pitch. Slob it up two in two, there. Yeah. I could, I could drop it in there for a strike, though. I usually pitched high, and I'd throw it as high as, as high as they would let me. There's a little chopper to the left side, charging. Woolbright throws out at first base. He reached, reached for that pitch and pulled it to the left side, and uh, Woolbright had to charge and throw on the run, but uh, he got it over there and out number one. It's the second good play Woolbright's made today. In the uh, first, in, in the second inning, he saved a, made a leaping grab to save a big, big hit, and then came up, ran through that, and made a good throw to first. Cole Dawson now to the plate. First pitch to him is in there for a strike. Well, I hate to jinx him, but looks like Jeremy's kind of got that strike zone a little, little, little figured out now. There's another uh, slider. That one just missed, I guess. That's got him. That that ball has to be up. That that was over the plate, but yeah, it looks like, like that ball had to miss up on that. It looked like it was the same spot on that outer corner as the previous one. Here's the one-one, and that one caught the kind of more middle to end on that one. Four strike two, one ball, two strikes. I think he's starting to find the bite on his slider to, you 
know, just get it in there for a strike. And he's got a one two count right here. Here comes another to Dawson. Fastball up and away. It's a two ball, two strike count. Could you see how hard that one was? That was a 90 mile per hour fastball. Okay. Did you ever throw one that hard? I could probably throw one half that, <laughs> half that speed. <laughs> Here's the 2 2. Low and outside, count full three and two. I didn't, I didn't play much baseball. I quit pretty early. As soon as the ball started curving, I was done. <laughs> I couldn't hit it when it was straight. What was I going to do when it was when it was uh, curving? The pitch missed outside, ball four. A one-out walk for Cole Dawson. Well, you hate to walk the number nine hitter. Yeah, that pitch didn't look like to be missed out by much. It had to just be a fraction off the plate. That one may have been up to... Dawson, Dawson, not not uh, not real tall anyway, so that, that might have been up a little on him. Cabrana set the plate now for the Wonder Boys. Throw to first, runner is back. Good move over there from Adorno. Two runs, three hits, no errors for the Wonder Boys. No runs, or excuse me, one run, one hit, one error for SAU. Dorno's pitch up for a ball. Ranas has walked both times up in this game. Scored in the third. He and uh, Jones got a walk and a hit by pitch in the third inning and both came around to score. Both the tech runs. There's a high strike to Cabranas. He didn't think that was a strike. Yeah, Cabranas, both at bats, both been leadoff walks. So let's see if we can change the script on Cabranas so far. One ball, one strike. Here's the pitch. That's foul back to the backstop. He's from Puerto Rico. I'll bet you that's Cabranas. What do you think? I bet you're supposed to roll it in. I I'm can't guessing. roll. I can't roll Cabranas. my ends. I can't roll an arc. Roll the arc to Cabranas. You're way, that. you're way better Cabranas. at that than I am. <laughs> I can't say it. I can't say it fast if I have to. But I bet you that thing is a. Yeah, I bet there's a little yes in there. So the first runner's back. That's right into the runner. There's not many things I can roll, but I can't roll an in. I can't roll an R, but I can roll a putt on the golf course, Dan. I can tell you that. <laughs> well, you can. I know you can top me on that. I hadn't even tried that for many, 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 many years. Here's the one, two, a throw to first runners back again. When I first moved to Magnolia 40 some odd years ago, I either had to decide, was I going to play golf or was I going to play, uh, or was I going to fish? I went the fishing route. Knew I couldn't afford to do both. Didn't have time to do both. Pitch to Cabrania's foul back out of play. So I went, I went fishing. Do you still fish this? I don't fish. I haven't fished in years now. I don't do either one of them now. Now I'm too lazy to do either one of them. <laughs> one ball, two strikes to Cabrañas. Where's me? I'm just sitting here doing all this talking. Good lead at first. One on, one out. Adorno's one-two pitch missed high. It's two and two. I'm not ruling that fishing out though, because you don't you don't have to exert too much energy fishing. Well, these um, days you don't have to do that with golf either. You just ride the golf cart, don't you? Well, not for us in tournaments. We walk. You have to walk those. Two-two pitch, fly ball to right field, moving over toward the line. McGinnis gets there and makes the catch in fair territory. Runner stays at first base. He looked like he uh, he had stopped and then he. Decided he had to move a little more. I don't know if uh, a little wind caught that or what. Doesn't appear to be a lot of wind out there. You no, know, I think he was just, he kind of made the stop so he can try to stay behind that baseball just in case Dawson over at first decided to tag and go to second. So I think that's where the kind of the, the stop came so he could try to stay behind that baseball. 
Two men are out, one on Grant Jones at the plate. He's a left-handed hitter. The pitch to him, and he hits that one a mile high down the right field line. Hook, maybe a hook. It's going to be foul and out of play up on top of the uh, Johnson Dawson Development Facility. You know, I can't tell where that landed on the, the it wrote, development facility. It landed up on the roof about from the left edge about six, seven feet up on the yeah, roof. So that ball would have been close to going out. I could, it have been right on the fence probably. It had a chance. No balls, one strike to Grant Jones. Here's the pitch outside. It's one and one. The sun is just setting behind the trees, and there's a little bit of cloud cover. That may have been another reason that McGinnis stopped out there was to was to keep it from getting in, in line with the sun and blinding him out there and right. That's a tough right right field. It's tough, a tough sun field. Here's the pitch. That's lined out toward right center field. That's going to get down. Runner from first to third. And let's see. They're going to stop him there. It'll be uh throw into second base, and he almost over overslid. The Kept that foot on the bag. So it's a double for uh, Grant Jones. And the lead runner had to stop at third base. So they've got runners at second and third now with two out. Aggressive base running from Grant Jones. That ball really was not hit that deep into the outfield. And, you know, out of the box, he knew he was going two on that. And, you know, now you set up second and third for your for your leading home run guy in Schwenke here at the plate. He is a right-handed hitter. The first pitch to him is foul back and out of play. Well, this is a big, big at bat here. You got Schwenke, and then you got Jones. Like I said, Schwenke's their home run hitter, and he sacrificed last time. He's not looking to, to lay down a bunt here. A one pitch outside. What good backhand grab there by Rosema, the catcher. Yeah, Grant was set up on the inside part of the plate, and that ball missed on the outside. Grant had to make a little slide backhand grab, kind of like, like a shortstop on that one. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. Ooh, that's outside again. He has to backhand it. Had to move even farther out. That was over in the other batter's box. Back to back, you know, run saving plays for Grant right there. Here's the two one pitch to Schwenke. Swing and a miss. Strike two. He was out in front, got fooled on that one. So now deuces are wild here in the fourth for the Wonder Boys. Runners at second and third and two men out. Adorno's 2-2 pitch coming. Swing and a miss. He chased maybe a breaking pitch outside. Foul tip hung on to by the catcher, Grant Rosema. Schwenke strikes out. And the Mule Riders escape a little bit of a two-out jam there in the fourth inning. No runs on one hit. There were no errors and two men left aboard. We're through three and a half. SAU trailing 2-1. This is New Rider Baseball. At L. Jennings Law, we understand that your legacy isn't just about assets. It's about family, future, and impact. Specializing in estate planning, elder law, and disability, we bring big firm expertise to our local community. Whether you're looking to protect your hard-earned wealth, navigate the complexities of elder care, or secure disability rights, we're here for you. Dial 501-501-WILL or visit ljenningslaw.com. Now with offices in Magnolia and Little Rock, L. Jennings Law, a good steward firm. Magnolia Travel Center is the only homegrown fuel stop in Magnolia and offers premium non-ethanol gas, great for ATVs, boats, lawnmowers, and other small engines. They also offer off-road diesel. These fueling options are offered at your convenience night or day, seven days a week, and are located on the last two fueling bays in the back of the store. Endless breakfast options, daily lunch specials, the Flavor Shot Fountain Center, salads, pizzas, and more. Lower prices with a local feel. It's Magnolia Travel Center. Full menus available on magnoliatravelcenter.com. As we go into the bottom of the fourth inning, SAU down two to one. And as we go along this inning, it'll be time for our Mule Rider Spotlight brought to you by Botcall Bank at 2125 North Jackson in Magnolia. 
Also at 307 Thomas Street in Stamps and at 3625 Richmond Road in Texarkana. Mike Combank serving us in South Arkansas since 1903. Local bank, local people. Enjoy the benefits of hometown banking at Botco Bank. Four, five, and six hitters due up for SAU here in the bottom of the fourth inning. I said we'll give you the Botco Bank Neil Rider spotlight as we go. First pitch, a strike over the, the outside part of the plate to Will Richardson leading off the inning. Batting 354, six home runs, and 36 runs batted in. He struck out to lead off the second. Four in a row have been retired by Gray, the starter for the Wonder Boys. There's one foul back out of play off the bat of Will Richardson. In our bot call bank, Muir Rider spotlight on the SAU football team. A safety on the Muir Rider football team. Freshman, Brett Johnson from Plain Dealing, Louisiana. The pitch to Richardson, outside ball one. Brad and Sherry Johnson, the parents of uh, Red Johnson. He played for Glenbrook School, the Apaches. Played in three different sports in high school. Lettered in all three, football, baseball, and basketball. Lettered all four years in all three of those sports. That pitch outside and in the dirt. Senior year, Red was... Uh, District defense MVP and first team all district and all state. Other than sports, enjoys working out. Most memorable moment in sports, winning the state championship baseball. The pitch to Richardson, fouled straight back. An interesting fact about Ritt, he says he's hardworking and trustworthy. The person he admires the most is dead because he's passionate about what he does and believes in. Two balls, two strikes. Long look by the pitcher. Gray, now he's ready. He delivers, and it's low and outside. Count goes full. Chose SAU for football and and because it's close to home and to get a degree. Says he's excited about the family environment and meeting new people. And majoring in accounting after graduation, plans to get a job. Here's the pitch. That one's hit well out to left field. But left fielder doesn't have to move a whole lot. Just a little over toward the line, and he hauls in the line drive off the bat of Will Richards. So there's out number one in the fourth for SAU. Brings Jaden Woolbright to the plate. So again, our bot call bank mule rider spotlight, Rhett Johnson from Plain Dealing, Louisiana. Safety on the SAU football team. will be a... Uh, sophomore or maybe a, um, I don't know if he played this past year or not or if he's going to be a red shirt freshman next year but anyway he'll be on the mule rider football team and I'll bet he'll be out there in the spring grain spring game tomorrow morning they're supposed to start that around 9 30 tomorrow morning at the uh, SAU football field one ball no strikes to Jaden Woolbright pitch on the way it's a strike called again your uh Bod Call Bank, Mule Rider Spotlight, a service of Bod Call Bank, serving us in South Arkansas since 1903. Bod Call Bank in Magnolia, Stamps, and Texarkana. A ball and a strike. Pitches foul back and out of play. Jaden Woolbright at the plate for the Mule Riders, batting 321. Five home runs, 25 driven in. Only run the Mule Riders have scored thus far was a solo home run from Trey Shoot. It's two balls, two strikes now to Jaden Woolbright. Popped up to the second baseman his last at bat. The pitch. Fastball outside, count full three and two to Jaden Woolbright. Trace standing on deck, sorry. Good at bat here from Woolbright. Yeah. So far, so good. Got a fan somewhere out there. Here's the three two pitch, is foul back and out of play. Somebody yelling, yelling his last name pretty loud out there. Can't tell if that's a fan in the stands or a or teammate in the dugout. Oh, yeah.
hopefully their fans too. But 3-2 pitch, another one foul back out of play. Panthers walked it off in the bottom of the seventh. Win at 12 to 11. That's a big that win. Yeah. Big win for the Panthers. Beat the other Panthers, the Ashdown Panthers. There's a fly ball out to right. Ronaldo backing up right in front of the warning track. He hauls it in. Woolbright flies to right. Two out. Man, that's six in a row shut down by John Gray. <laughs> Riders have it. Other than the the one, I guess a mistake pitch to Trey Shoup. Other than that, they really, really haven't uh, haven't hit this guy very well yet. This is the exact uh, formula for how the New Riders scored their first run of the game. So let's see if we can repeat. Yeah, that's true. Shoup at the plate. Pitch to him. Missed a little bit outside. A fastball. are just one game out of first place. That's uh, Nashville's on top with one loss. Ashdown gave them a, lo uh, a loss. Their one loss. Pitch is low. Magnolia lost first round of round robin. Close games to, to both Nashville and uh, Ashdown. And now they've repaid Ashdown. Next Friday, they've got Nashville coming to town. 2-0 pitch. This is 3 and up. So hopefully they'll repay them as well. Three and oh, the count to Trey Shoup. Pitch outside, ball four. He walked him on four straight. A two out walk to Trey Shoup. I think the, uh, the pitcher, John Gray, had people reminding him maybe that uh, that was the setup <laughs> when the Muir Riders scored their their only run. Yeah, they he didn't give much to hit for Trey Shoup that at bat. That 3-0 pitch was in the other batter's box. He was he was content with sending him to first. Carter Clare out at the plate. He takes a fastball for a strike on the outer part of the plate. Clare out bats from the left side. He's hitting 324 couple of home runs and 28 driven in for Claire Hout. Was hit by a pitch. His first at bat, that pitch outside for a ball. When was his last home run? It has been a while. Like I said, I haven't seen him hit one. It was in, uh, it was either before I started doing baseball when basketball was still going on or a midweek game. There's one foul back and out of play. On deck, Mikey McGinnis. I hope he gets uh, gets to gets to swing this inning. Shoop has his lead at first. The pitch away. Two balls, two strikes with two out. Shoop over at first base. There's, oh, strike three called on the outside corner. Claire Hout rung up. So that retires the Mule Riders in the bottom of the fourth inning. No runs, no hits, no errors. One man left on. We are through four with Southern Arkansas down by one, two to one to the Wonder Boys of Arkansas Tech. This is Mule Rider Baseball. This week's At Your Service featured item is an angled broom. This broom is perfect for spring cleaning and getting in all those hard-to-reach places. Remember, when it comes to solutions for your environment, the team you can count on will always be At Your Service. Shop the all-new AtYourServiceStore.com or stop by 1506 North Vine in Magnolia for all your cleaning and maintenance items. Quality and excellence since 1986. At Your Service Environmental Solutions, where they know the power of clean. Farmers Bank & Trust has always been about local service and investment in our community. And to prove that, we've just opened a brand new full service branch in Welcome at our Arkla location. We've also opened a new My Farmers iTeller ITM for extended live teller coverage in Taylor. 
These branches will offer all of our great services and even more convenience for our customers. So stop by today and come home to Farmers Bank. Farmers Bank and Trust, Equal Housing Lender, member FDIC. Two to one, Arkansas Tech leads through uh, four innings here at, uh, I tell you what, don't bring you, bring you in on the next inning. I need to get this done first. Uh, Connor, the Magnolia Regional Medical Center mid-game summary. Magnolia Family Medical Clinics, your full-service health care provider for all members of your family, ages birth through end of life. They accept patients by walk-in or with appointment. Give, give them a call at uh, 235 Three five 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 two three five three five five five. Clear out uh, his last home run. I, w I was just so curious. I had to find out. It was against East Central. It was in uh, in that East Central series at Ada. First pitch to Nick Jones down low for ball one. Well, two runs, four hits, no errors for the Wonder Boys. One run, one hit, one error for SAU. 1-0 pitch. That is pulled down the right field line, headed for the corner. Nick Jones rounds first. He's on his way to second base. He will pull up there with a leadoff double in the top of the fifth inning. And uh, Nick Jones, uh, he singled in two in the third, and now he doubles down the right field line. Yeah, that ball landed. So how the turf sits here at this ballpark, the turf, they have the lines on turf. That ball landed just inside of the turf. It's landed barely inside that line. So if there's any ball that's hit down the right field line, that's the definition of it right there, Dan. Yep, that's right down the line. You are correct. Christian Olea comes to the plate for the Wonder Boys. So the leadoff, uh, leadoff hitter in the fifth. He's standing down at second now. And a fastball misses inside to Christian Olea. Continuing with our uh, mid-game summary, there are two runs in the third inning. Again, Nick Jones drove them both in as he singled up the middle. That was uh, after they sacrificed following a leadoff walk and a hit by pitch. Foul ball back out of play. So a walk to Cabranes and a, a hit by pitch of Grant Jones. Schwenke sacrificed him to second and third, and Nick Jones hit it up the middle and singled in those two runs, and now... He's in scoring position for Christian Olea here in the top of the fifth inning for the Wonder Boys. And the Mule Rider lone run was a solo home run from Trey Shoup in the second inning with two out. There's a swing and a miss at a breaking pitch. It's one and two. So maybe the uh, before we wrap up our uh, mid-game summary, give you the pitching numbers thus far. In this one, not a whole lot of offense to talk about. There's a line drive up the middle, and that's going to drop in in front of the Mule Rider center fielder, Lyles. He throws toward third. He was trying to dig the runner at second base, but once he realized it was going to be down, he was able to advance to third base. So back-to-back -back hits here in the fifth inning for Arkansas Tech, a double and a single, and the Wonder Boys with runners at the corners for Keaton Renalo. Dorno now, he's pitched four innings, given up uh, six hits with that double and single in this inning. He's given up two runs, both earned. He's walked three and struck out three. The pitch on the way, off-speed pitch, breaking pitch in there for a strike. Gray, in his four innings of work, has given up just one hit, and that was the solo home run to uh, to uh, Trey Shoe. That's the only run he's given up. It was earned. He's walked two and struck at three. Adorno's pitch is high. There's hey. still action going down in the bullpen for the Mule Riders. I want to say it's still Austin Adair. Yeah, I cannot see his number, but I think that's him. I'm, I agree. One ball, one strike to Ronaldo. The pitch outside, and it's going to the backstop. The runner from first will go to second, but the runner from third will stay put. So he came down the line, but Rosma got a pretty good bounce back and uh, 
I don't think Jones was going to be able to score, but the wild pitch does get Olay at a second base. Yeah, I don't think Jones got a very good read on that pass ball. It did bounce back pretty hard, but I think a good read, and he it would have been a bang-bang play, but he definitely did get a good read on that pass ball. So they got second and third with nobody out. Two and one to Keaton Ranallo. The pitch, ooh, and that came in and hit him. That's going to load him up. That hit him on the helmet. He appears to be all right. He's headed down to first base. Adorno, he has been wild at times here tonight. This is now, boy, we've talked about how well Adorno has pitched the last couple of weeks. And I think his day just ended with that hit by pitch as Coach Pettigrew is making his way out to the mound. First three batters have reached here for the Wonder Boys. A double, a single, and now a hit batter. And there's the call to the bullpen. So Jeremy Adorno's day is done. And we'll tell you about the new pitcher when we come back. Bases loaded, nobody out in the top of the fifth for the Wonder Boys. SAU trails 2-1. to one. This is Mule Rider Baseball. Getting your prescriptions filled is easy at Prince Pharmacy in Magnolia. Become one of their many satisfied customers. You can refill your prescriptions with Prince Pharmacy's mobile app, also with their website, PrincePharmacyRx.com. Prince Pharmacy has a 24-hour refill line, too. 234-7292. Call before noon for same-day free delivery. They have a convenient drive through too, at Prince Pharmacy in the Southern Medical Group Clinic at 211 East Stadium in Magnolia. Car dealerships are not the same. Hi, Jim Golden with Jim Golden, Ford, Lincoln, and Camden. The difference is we consider our customers part of our family, and families take care of each other. There's no such thing as an unhappy customer when you do business with us. And if you have a problem, we have a problem, and we're going to fix it. That's just how we do business at Jim Golden, Ford, Lincoln. Come see what it's like to buy from family. I'm Jim Golden, and I'll guarantee you'll like it. Come see for yourself why we say at Jim Golden, Ford, Lincoln, and Camden, where the dealer makes the difference. Get up after a great night's sleep. Hit the fitness machines, including the Peloton bike. Then enjoy a hot breakfast prepared by someone else. Log on to the Wi-Fi and get to work. Sound like your house? I'm talking about the Hampton Inn by Hilton in Magnolia. If you live in Magnolia, you probably don't need a room with all these benefits. So tell your family and friends when they visit about the Hampton by Hilton, where they will earn Hilton honor points. And nothing says you can't treat yourself to a night at the Hampton. Investment mistakes can be costly. One common mistake is too much buying and selling. Excessive trading can run up fees and taxes and disrupt your long-term financial strategy. Another mistake is failing to create a good mix of investments. Don't try to time the market. No one can really predict when prices reach lower high points. Also, don't develop unrealistic expectations and don't make the mistake of simply comparing your investment results to those of a market index. Talk to an Edward Jones financial advisor, Laura Kroll, Patrick Dodd, Steve Hardy, or Mark Woods. Edward Jones, member SIPC. Uh, Adair, Austin Adair, the new pitcher for SAU. Six foot 180. He's out of Pflugerville, Texas. Came to SAU from Cisco College. Adair, we saw a little bit against Monticello on Tuesday. He pitched an inning and a third. Gave up just one hit in that outing. To the to the bowl weevils on on Tuesday I don't know how many pitches he threw in the bullpen last weekend seemed like he was up all the time or, or a whole lot last weekend at Washita but never did come into a game his first pitch to Bard Brendan Bard is a called strike the numbers on uh, on Adair one and one record a 5.79 ERA this is his ninth appearance all in relief. He's pitched 14 innings, 12 strikeouts. He's only walked one. They're going to appeal there as he held up. They're going to say, no, he didn't go. So it's one ball, one strike to Brendan Bard. Bases full of Wonder Boys with nobody out here in the top of the fifth inning. Adair comes in. Late swing. Foul ball to the right side. Out of play. Adair came in and uh, 
Looked like everybody from the bullpen came back to the dugout. Yeah, there's nobody down there. Bases full of wonder boys here in the top of the fifth. One, two, delivery. Checked his swing. It came in on him. I guess it hit the bat. I thought I was, thought maybe it might have hit his hand, but I think it, of course, the hand's part of the bat. But they didn't. That didn't hit anything. They called did it a not? ball. They called it a ball. Did he call it a ball? He did call oh, it I a thought ball. He, I thought it hit something there. I did too, but I guess it didn't. So two ball, two strike count. The pitch comes off the fist. little blooper to the shortstop. And Nickel, well, he dropped it intentionally, but uh, they're going to call infield fly there. So the batter's out. <laughs> Smart play by Nickel, though. Oh, there. yeah. Yeah, you dribble it there, and he could have had a could have had a triple play after what happened earlier in the game when we hit the ball off the knob and called it a foul ball i mean you never yeah. know what can happen in this game so yeah were it not for the infield fly there because he was right by second they could step on the bag they could get the other force at first and then throw home and still maybe get that run oh yeah with the old triple play but uh pitch comes there's a strike called to uh, brendan bard so Adair gets ahead on the count. Bases full of Wonder Boys. Here's the pitch outside. Well, a double play could end this threat. See if Shane Poe will oblige. It's a one ball, one strike count to him. Adair to the plate. Right back up the middle. That's going to get through. One run scores. Here comes the second runner, Olea, from second. And he will score as the throw from center comes through. And it's a 4-1 to one lead for Arkansas Tech as Poe singles up the middle. And that, like the, the other single that drove in two, off the end of the bat, just finds its way through the middle. Yeah, both, both RBIs, two RBI singles for the... Arkansas Tech today have just kind of just been little kind of dribblers just somehow got through the infield so, so Jones scored from third and Olea from second and uh, Ronaldo stopped at second that pitch is a strike the four to one Arkansas Tech still got a force in any bag a one pitch to Dawson missed outside for a ball Old Dawson, number nine hitter in the order for the Wonder Boys. And we do not need to get back to the top of the order in this inning. Need to need something good to happen right here, but still just one out. Adair's pitch pulled to the third baseman. He'll step on the bag, and Woolbright throws to first. He uh, pulled him off the bag, but Richardson applied the tag as he went past. And that double play will take care of the Wonder Boys in this fifth inning but not before they scored two runs in the inning on three base hits there were no errors and one man left the board but at the bottom of the fifth SAU uh, they're, they're down four to one to the Arkansas Tech Wonder Boys this is Mule Rider Baseball know what's nice you could drive to Whataburger right now if you wanted to yeah you could hang a Louie talk to Reggie at the counter and get a freshly made 100% beef double meat Whataburger with melted cheese and fresh cut veggies on a five inch bun it's just the delicious freedom you have living in the land where there's Whataburger of course some people aren't in that land wonder what they're doing right now probably thinking about a road trip Whataburger just like you like it Rocket Fest Car Wash Rocket Fest it's a blast and your vehicle is clean Rocket Fast Unlimited Wash Plans are the best way to keep your car spotless. Now our washes and plans are even more affordable. Did you know you can purchase our Fast Pass for the price of a single wash? That's right. Wash your car as many times as you want for 30 days for the price of a single wash. There has never been a better time to get your Fast Pass. Join thousands of others who already enjoy unlimited washing at all of our locations. Rocket Fast, the fast and easy way to wash your car. It's about time for those mule rider bats to uh, to get get lit up a little bit here. They're uh, only got one hit so far in this game. That was uh, 
solo home run off the bat of Trey Shoup in the second inning. That's a good piece of pitching, though, by Austin Adair. He did give up the single up the middle that drove in two runs, but I said that was just right off the end of the bat, just kind of found its way through the middle. There's a good one hit off the bat of uh, Mikey McGinnis, but center fielder runs it down in the left center field gap. Just just a little bit towards center from the 375 mark in left center field. Mikey McGinnis gave it a ride on a line. Just needed a little more elevation. Yeah, that ball was that ball was hit on the screws. That that was just a center fielder made a great play just to track that down uh, Grant Jones in center, but it's a loud first out here in the bottom half of the fifth. Clay Burrows now to the plate for SAU. Pitch to him as a strike on the outer part of the plate. Yeah, it's good Good to see somebody hitting the ball hard against this guy, but unfortunately it's an out. No balls in a strike. Clay Burrows, Chris Lyles, the leadoff hitter on deck. That pitch fouled back out of play. Clay Burrows flew out to center, but uh, he hit that ball pretty well in the second inning when he flew out. Yeah, that was another loud out for the Mule Routers. Yeah, that was the third out of that inning. From the stretch, here's the pitch. And it's low and outside. Four to one. Four runs, seven hits, no errors for the Wonder Boys. One run on just one hit and one error for SAU. Gray still on the mound for the Wonder Boys. Here's his pitch. And he got him reaching there. Burrow's bat just wasn't quite long enough to reach that when he's down swinging. He strikes out. There are two out. Top of the order now to Chris Lyles. After the game, we'll name our Domino's post game or have our Domino's post game show. Carry out a deal for only $7.99 at Domino's, including all their one topping pizzas on any of Domino's five crusts. Also after the game, we'll our People's Bank player of the game. As Lyle steps in, here's the pitch. Low and outside for ball one. Before you lock in a mortgage rate online, talk to People's Bank first. People's Bank offers great rates on mortgage loans for new home purchase and refinancing. Plus, People's Bank makes it so easy by being with you every step of the way. People's Bank, equal housing lender, member FDIC. There's a strike to Chris Lyles. It's a one ball, one strike count to him. Four to one, Wonder Boys. Pitch to Lyles, lifts it in the air to right field. That's going to be a can of corn for Ranallo. And the Mule Riders go one, two, three in the fifth. No runs, no hits, no errors, and nobody left to board. We are through five with Arkansas Tech leading four to one. This is Mule Rider Baseball. 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The experienced team at Southern Caregivers provides expert care to you and your loved ones. Southern Caregivers also provides needed support for seniors, allowing them to remain in the comfort of their own home and maintain their independence. The nurturing and caring companions can be matched to meet emotional, spiritual, and physical needs of the individuals they care for. Call 501-463-9990 today and speak with one of our professionals or visit southerncaregiversar.com. It's mighty hard to resist an order of Domino's Loaded Tots. You have your choice of three different mouth-watering toppings. There's Domino's Cheddar Bacon Loaded Tots with a perfect combo of gooey cheese and crisp bacon. Or how about Domino's Philly Cheesesteak Loaded Tots? Or last but not least, Domino's Melty Three Cheese Loaded Tots covered with a blend of mozzarella, cheddar, and provolone cheese plus Alfredo sauce. Add some Loaded Tots to your next Domino's order. Order online or on the Domino's app and earn piece of the pie rewards. Spring into another season of life with Chambliss and Davis Family Practice in Magnolia. Chambliss and Davis accept patients of all ages, from newborn to elderly, with most insurances accepted, including United Healthcare. They do primary care, weight loss management, DOT physicals, cool scoping, BioT hormone physicals, and more. They're open Monday through Thursdays from 8 till 4 and Fridays 8 till noon. Your patient applications are being accepted. Be ready for whatever life brings you with Chambliss and Davis Family Practice, where your primary care is their primary concern. Well, five innings in the books, four to one. 
Southern Arkansas trailing Arkansas Tech. First pitch to Cabranes is popped up out in shallow center field and going out. Good catch by Burroughs. I wasn't sure who was gonna who was gonna take that one. A fly ball out to Clay Burroughs, the Mule Rider, second baseman. I'm gonna turn it over to you, Connor, because you you got to do better than me because I'm I'm getting beat here four to one. Well, it's good to see Richie Kim though. Oh yeah, one pitch, one out. Get to see a, another Mule Rider, former Mule Rider, and. We're here in the top half of the sixth inning here at Walker Stadium at Goodhart Field. And that pitch for Adair to Grant Jones is called for a strike. Grant Jones in his first at bat in the first inning, flied out to left, hit by pitch in the second, scored a run. That pitch is also outside. And then in the fourth inning, he hit a double down the right field line. Did not score on that. The 1-1 pitch is hit very softly, slicing, and slices foul. Thank goodness. The way this game's been going, I was afraid that one was going to land fair down the left field line. Yeah, it, I kind of lost the ball from the, just kind of in the, with this fence, and I thought it was just going to drop right, kind of like he hit earlier, just drop right in front of the line. But slice foul, and here's a 1-2 pitch. Ball's outside, wasted a pitch. Count moves to two and two. One out here in the top of the sixth inning. Austin Adair in his second inning of work. And the 2 2 pitch. Ball's hit up the middle. Burroughs fields. Makes a great play from Clay Burroughs. Moving to his right. Fields in front. Makes a throw on the run and throws a strike to Will Richardson over at first base for the second out of the inning. I, first off, off the bat, I didn't think he could get there. And then he gets there. Not only does he get there, but then he turns with his body going away from first and throws back to first base and threw it perfectly. I thought he was going to backhand that ball at first, but then he just kind of got around it. But first pitch to uh, Logan Swanky is a swinging strike. Swanky on the day has a strikeout, a sack bunt, and another strikeout. So he struck out twice today with a sack bunt. Austin Adair's 0-1 pitch. Outside for a 1-1 count. Well, if the Muir Riders could get these guys in order here, maybe that would give us a little momentum going into the bottom of the sixth inning. Maybe get the bats going. Yeah, we need some. We need a momentum booster right here to get this crowd crowd going a little bit. That pitch is softly grounded. Woolbright comes in to make a play. That would have been a tough play for Woolbright. We'll be interested to see what the man scoring calls it I think it over at Pumphrey. Yeah. And I think we're all in agreement that that's going to be an infield single. That ball is hit very well, softly. Yeah, Nickel had no chance uh, to 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 um, get it out there. And Jaden Woolbright coming across in front, all he could do was just uh, he couldn't get a couldn't get to it enough to barehand it. So he had to try to catch it on the glove, and then it just kind of rolled up off of his uh, the heel of his glove. And I don't think he gets him anyway. It was, it was a tough play, but yeah. that brings up Nick Jones. First pitch is called ball apparently he called it down that ball's not down nor out Nick Jones struck out looking in the first singled in the singled in the third that pitch is fouled out of play and then hit a double down the right field line in the fifth he hit he has two RBIs and a run scored today you must be a Harrington you don't get through your first half inning of play by play without criticizing an umpire it's, it's in our genes. You know? <laughs> I think it is. <laughs> that 1-1 pitch, that one, one pitch is swung on and missed for strike two. Jeff it's, always gives me a hard time for giving the umpires. The umpires and basketball officials and football, and uh, ain't nobody harder on them than Jeff, though. I'm not sure if my dad's <laughs> listening right now, but if he is, he's probably laughing and smiling right now. Adair's 1-2 pitch is grounded toward Burroughs. Fields it. Makes a throw over to first for the out. Burroughs was in short right field and came in and made that play. But he had a long run to get there, didn't he? So the, he did it. So the Wonder Boys, they go. They had scored no runs on one hit. There were no errors, and there was one runner left on base through five and a half innings. Arkansas Tech leads the Mule Riders 4-1. to one. This is Mule Rider Baseball. 
Hiring someone you trust can be the hardest part of owning a business. At Bo Moses Trucking, trust has been at the top of our list. When you need to get precious cargo from one place to another without worrying about damage, delays, or lost freight, Bo Moses Trucking is the one to count on. Based in Magnolia, Arkansas, since 1999, we have the resources and equipment to take care of all your flatbed freight hauling. Visit us on Facebook or call 870-234-2803. Bo Moses Trucking. Trust us to go the distance. Coming up a little later on, uh, got our Domino's post-game show. Carry out a deal for only $7.99 at Domino's, including eight-piece wings or a boneless chicken or Domino's dip and bread twist combos. Just $7.99 each at Domino's in Magnolia and Camden. Also, after the game, we'll name our People's Bank player of the game. At People's Bank, you can get a free Magnolia Panthers or SAU Mule Riders debit card when you open your free checking account. You get it that day, too. No waiting for it to arrive in the mail. Just another reason to choose People's Bank member FDIC. Well, you two, did, three. You're taking after me, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, learned, we learned, I learned from the best. Two Hall of Famers. <laughs> there you go. Jeff, you need to come on out. Richie Kim is here, and he's got to leave in the morning. So Charlie Dawson and Richie Kim walked in between uh, between half innings here. First time Richie's been back in 30 years. He said he's still got some tapes of uh, me in Houston calling one of his games or some of his games. I don't know. Back when he played, I can't remember what years that was. It's a long time ago, Dan. Grant Rosema here to lead off for the Mule Riders. He takes first pitch at the <laughs> ball. We have Grant Rosema, Brandon Nickel, and Will Richardson do up two, three, four hitters. Grant coming in to this at bat, sitting 248 on the year. He's over two today. Let's see if Grant can get that first hit of the day here. He swings him. It's a ground ball softly to the first baseman. He fields it and takes first base himself for, for you folks scoring at home the three unassisted. Yeah, upset Charlie Dawson. He walks in and says, I bet you don't know who this is. I say, yeah, that's Richie Kim. <laughs> and I probably wouldn't have except for Mick Sanchez, the father of Braden Sanchez, the Panther shortstop, had told me uh, at a previous game that Richie was coming, so kind of gave me a heads up into the box but now I, was, I didn't want to tell charlie that though. oh yeah first pitch for brandon nichols called a strike brandon nickel is also over two he's flat out twice he flat out to the short right field to the second baseman flat out to the center fielder his average on the air is 341 with 11 home runs and 34 rbis gray's 01 pitch is down and away for ball one So Brandon Nickel is from Canada, and on our golf team we have three Canadians on our team. So See? Can Canada is a popular, popular country here for SAU. The one-one pitch for Gray. Nickel swings at at a pitch low and away. He fouls it out out of play in right field. That, that was the time when Coach Goodhart was still coaching. We we had, we always had uh, had some Canadians on the team. Yeah, our uh, golf team, we have two kids. From, we have two players from Regina and uh, another player from Red Deer. So we kinda, they're kind of all over the place for our golf team. One-two pitch here for Gray coming to Brandon Nickel. Ball is outside. Two-two count for the Mule Rider shortstop, Brandon Nickel. He's kind of gone all over the place on the infield. He started at third, moved to second at one point. Now he's kind of found a home at shortstop. For the mule riders he's done a good job everywhere he's been the two two pitches a ball outside runs the count full to three and two we just need the bats to get going here in this in this game for sau we get the bats rolling it, it can be anybody's ball game here the three two pitch swung on kind of off the fist of nickel Shortstop uh, Cole Dawson fields it, throws it over to Logan Swanky at first for out number two. Yeah, even off the fist, he hits it hard. It still was a one hopper to the shortstop off the fist. Yeah, his uh, his ball, the balls he hits off the fist is way different than the ball I used to hit off the yeah. fist. Now, <laughs> now are, seven, are most people? Oh yeah, oh yeah, for sure. Now stepping in is number four, Will Richardson. He's also over two on the day with a strikeout and a fly and a flyout. 
to left field. First pitch is ball one. Pitch was down. In the, in the second inning in his first at bat, Will hit a foul ball home run that just crept out in foul territory. So he he could be seeing it well from Gray to get his night started. That ball, that pitch is low and away for ball two. On yeah, the, he, and he crushed that line drive out in the fourth, too. So, I mean, he's yeah, he's hit him hard a couple of times. But nothing to show for it. He's seeing the ball well tonight. And, you know, he's really been seeing the ball well all year, Dan. He's hitting 352 with six home runs, 36 RBIs. So he's been seeing it well. The 2-0 pitch, that swung on, that ball's hit high. Oh, come on. Deep to left at the warning track. Man, the I left thought fielder, it was going. And the left fielder, Shane Poe, makes the play on the rocky warning track here at Goodhart Field. So the Mule Riders go three up, three down here in the bottom of the sixth inning. After six innings of play, Arkansas Tech four, SAU one. This is Mule Rider Baseball. Bodcall Bank has known the benefit of hometown banking for over 120 years, and we are proud to offer you just that with local leadership and local decisions. Hi, I'm Gina Gore, Vice President of Bodcall Bank. Come see us in Stamps or visit one of our other locations in Magnolia or Texarkana. We are committed to making your experience as our customer priority one. Whatever your banking needs may be, Bodcall Bank is here and ready for what's ahead. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Southern Medical Group welcomes the newest member to their expert team, nurse practitioner Haley Quintana. Haley sees all patients, no matter the age, during the hours of 8 a.m. until 5 p.m. Monday through Friday. Most insurances are accepted. Southern Medical Group has you covered no matter the health issue, from allergies and colds to DOTs and screenings. Stop by 211 East Stadium Street in Magnolia or call 870-234-5995. Southern Medical Group, our family taking care of yours. Welcome back to Walker Stadium at Goodhart Field. Entering to the latter half, the late half of the game. It's the uh, top of the seventh inning with the uh, Wonder Boys leading four to one. Arkansas Tech has the five, six, seven hitters up. Christian Ola. Oh, how do you say that name? Olea. Olea. Christian Olea in for the Wonder Boys. That pitch is outside. Breaking ball misses outside. Olea on the day. He's hit a line out to left field. Fly out to center. And said a dope. And is it a single into center field? And has also scored a run on the day. Adair's next pitch is smooth right down Broadway for strike one. And that runs the count to one and one. Adair in his third inning of work. Came in and kind of avoided a big jam in the first in his first inning of work. That pitch is grounded right back to Adair. He runs over to first, makes a soft flip to Will Richardson, and records the out for out number one. Why do pitchers uh, like like that rather than just all right? He caught it on one hop. All he's got to do is, of course, I know one thing. You want to get off the mound probably to throw to first. You don't want to throw from the side of the mound, but you see a lot of pitchers like he did run about halfway to first base and then just kind of flip it over. You know, I think pitchers are scared. I think pitchers like the, you know, just going, running over, and underhand toss. It's a, I've been told by a lot of pitchers that it's the more high percentage play than making a step and throwing it to first. So, but Adair's first pitch to Ronaldo is in for a strike. The 0 1 pitch is called on the outside corner for strike two. Adair is. Adair's kind of getting in a groove here, here in the top of the seventh. You definitely want, yeah, like I said, you want to get off of the off the mound. You don't want to be. But that O2 pitch just misses outside for ball one. That was a that was a great O2 spot right there. Yeah, pop the mid good. That was a great O2 spot for Adair, and the count now runs to one and two, one out here in the top of the seventh. Adair's pitch swung gone. It's in foul territory. Will Richardson making run, and that ball lands on top of the dugout in foul territory. Ronaldo stays alive here in his fourth at bat of the ball game. Ronaldo on the year is hitting 328. He has five home runs, 32 RBIs. 
Let's see if Adair can get a good pitch and get him on the strikeout right here. The ball's hit deep to left, and Trey Shoot takes a look and sees the ball fly over the concession stand for a home run. Yes, that was kind of a no doubt about her there. Up and over the left field wall. You might have heard an uh-oh come out of my mouth when that one came off the bat. Yeah, he got it all. Yeah, that pitch was kind of, that one-two pitch was just, I think left too much over the middle of the zone, and Ronaldo did not miss that one. Ronaldo's had a good game. He's three for three now with a home run, and he's also been hit by a pitch, so he's having a big night for the Wonder Boys. Shane Poe up to the bat. He's, he sends a ground ball to Nickel. Nickel makes a great play over at shortstop to get him out on the 6-3 for the second out of the inning. That's pretty good play, too. Pretty good strong throw moving toward the hole and throwing all the way across. And got him got him with uh, plenty of room to spare. Sorry, that was Brendan Bard at the plate. Now Shane yeah, Poe is yeah. coming up to the plate. So two outs here in the top of the seventh. First pitch for Adair is swung on and missed by Poe in the in the batter's box. Poe on the day is he has a hit by pitch, ground out the third, and a single up the middle. So he's one for two on the day. Next pitch is a it's a called strike or a swing strike. Nonetheless, it's a strike. Yeah, I think he went around. We're gonna have to switch to the stubby pencils to change our luck. Yeah, I need to go to that the good luck <laughs> the good luck small pencil. 0-2 pitch for Adair is just kind of just poked it out into right field. That ball barely landed just past the turf, and you know, it was an all-survival mode swing right there, and that ball just kind of finds its hole out in right field for a two-out single for Shane Poe. Poe poked it. Poe did indeed poke it. Poked it into right. Looks like we're going to come in with a pinch runner now. Looks like it was no. I couldn't get a number on that because they don't have a number on the front of their jerseys. But it, I want to say I glanced over and saw a 33. That would be Brandon Button. He's a he's a base stealer. He's nine out of eleven on the year. I was looking to see. I was saying my O's nine out of ten. So I'm not real sure what that's about, but. Uh, Adair's first pitch to Dawson is called for a strike. Yeah, that you don't really see that often. You don't see a guy go into pinch run for a guy with nine stolen bases on the year. No. You don't see that every day. 0-1 pitch from Adair. Dawson squares around the bunt, pulls it back. Pitch I, missed low for a ball. I would guess something going on there that we don't know about. Unless it was a switch that they were going to make anyway. Unless it was a defensive switch and they yeah. pick off move to first. I got to think he, uh, he's going to go out there because Bunton's only a 200 hitter. Or Poe's a 315 hitter. Yeah, Bunton's probably in there for a, maybe get a stolen bag or just a defensive sub later in the game. Adair's 1-1 one -one pitches inside for ball two. Dawson on the day has a field, reached on a fielder's choice, walked, and grounded into a double play in the bottom of the fifth inning. Adair's 2 1 pitch. Bun's on the move. Ground ball back to the pitcher. He steps, throws on the first for the out, and that retires the side for the Wonder Boys. Wonder Boys scored one, one run on two hits. There were no errors, and there were one. There was one runner left on base through six and a half innings. Wonder Boys lead five to one. This is Mule Rider Baseball. KBMZ FM Waldo Magnolia and KELD FM Hampton Camden El Dorado 99.1 and 106.5. The new Max FM. Short term plans may change, but stay focused on three lifetime goals planning for retirement, preparing for the unexpected, and creating an estate plan. Get in touch with one of Magnolia's Edward Jones financial advisors, Edward Jones, member SIPC. 
Hey guys, Lucas Cheatham back to tell you about HealthQuest Therapy. Spring brings out the best things like vacations and time at the lake. Gone fishing lately? Well, out on the water is where you'll always find me. Some days, fishing out of a boat can really test my balance. You may feel off balance at times yourself. My mom, Christy, and her team provide physical, occupational, speech therapy, dry niggling, and even offer vital stem therapy for swallowing problems. Visit online at healthquesttherapy.net or stop by 1515 East Main in Magnolia today. Oh yeah, I got another bite. game we're going to name our people's bank player of the game refer a friend to people's bank if your friend opens any checking account you and your friend both receive a thank you gift visit referpbmag.com to earn your choice of an amazon gift card or the current featured gift free checking and free gifts at people's bank member fdic i think it's it's time we've given them enough here it's time to time to get something going Yep, five, six, seven up for the Mule Riders. Woolbright, shoot, and then clear help here in the bottom of the seventh. Gray still out there. First pitch from Gray to Woolbright is up for a ball. There, there seems to be some light throwing down in the bullpen for Arkansas Tech. So maybe we can get some runners on and maybe get Gray out of this game. The 1-0 pitch to Woolbright. Fouled on back to the backstop for strike one. Gray does not have a complete game this year, so he's got to be getting tired. But my gosh, he's he's only allowed four base runners and only one hit. One hit and the one hit was just a home run. That's the only way, only run we scored today on the Trace Shoop home run. The second, Will Bright's one one pitch is fouled into the seats for strike two. Woolbright on the day is 0 for 2. He is, he's popped out to the second baseman and flew out to the right fielder. Shoop on deck for the Mule Riders. The 1 2 count here for Gray to Woolbright. Pitches foul tip into the catcher's mitt for strike. And that is out number one here in the bottom of the seventh inning. Gray's still looking pretty strong. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't get a chance to glance over at that speed, but it does not look like he's lost a ton of velocity on his fastball so far here in the in the seventh into the seventh inning for his start. In comes Trey Shoot. He's hitting 310 on the air with five home runs and 24 RBIs. And his first pitch is fouled off back to the backstop. Shoop on the day is He's one for one. He had a home run over the left center field wall in the second inning and walked on four pitches in the fourth. 0-1 pitch to shoot. Ball's hit hard in the center field on a line. The center fielder, Grant Jones, had a beat on it, made a great diving play. Holy cow. You know, there's been a lot of loud outs for the Mule Riders this game. And, you know, for the Wonder Boys, they've just been kind of like these soft liners that are just finding holes and we're hitting these hard line drives and they're just making great defensive plays. That one was sinking and I just didn't think he had any chance of getting there but he makes a diving catch and that's a highlight real catch there. In comes Carter Clairhout for the Mule Riders. His first pitch he looks at is called strike one on the inside corner. Carter on the day has been hit by a pitch and struck out looking so he's 0 for 1. Gray on the on the mound. His 0-1 pitch is missed down and in for ball one. Yeah, into this for a guy that doesn't have a complete game, he is not really showing much sign of fatigue on any of his pitches so far. That one one pitch for Gray is swung on for strike two. The count runs to one and two for Carter Clairhout. Let's see if he can get it to Mikey McGinnis, who is on deck for the Mule Riders to extend the inning. The one-two pitch coming to Clearhow. He fouls it out of play, and the count remains at one and two. In the bullpen, kind of slightly thrown for the Wonder Boys is number six, Grant Shahan. 
one-two pitch for Gray is flat out into center field, and the center fielder Grant Jones has a beat on it and makes the catch for the third and final out. The Mule Riders, no runs, no hits, no errors, nobody left on here in the bottom of the seventh. We're done with seven, and the Wonder Boys lead five to one. This is Mule Rider Baseball. That's the sizzle of McDonald's new hotter and juicier 100% fresh beef quarter pounder burger. Sounds good, right? Hold up, you can't hear that mouth-watering sound or taste that beefy, melty, cheesy deliciousness until you order yours, because that's when they cook it. So if you want to hear this, followed by this, mm. hit this, and turn into McDonald's now. McDonald's new hotter and juicier quarter pounder burgers. So good, they'll leave you speechless. Hotter and juicier compared to prior quarter pound beef patty. Available in most restaurants in contiguous U.S. Not available in Alaska, Hawaii, and U.S. territories. Knock your taste buds out of the park with the Corner Clubhouse. 100 South Washington on the Magnolia Square. We're talking mouth-watering steaks cut in-house. Burgers, loaded nachos, salads, wraps, quesadillas, and more. Choose from an array of legendary baked potatoes like the chicken fajita and chicken bacon ranch. Menu updates, picks, and more. Search the Corner Clubhouse on Facebook. Daily specials, a full bar, big screens for the big games, and only a short stop away. It's the Corner Clubhouse. Satisfy your cravings with a Grand Slam today. Around the GAC, uh, Monticello winner at home today over Henderson 11 to 4. So the Nazarene at Southeastern Oklahoma State at SNU 8 to 7 earlier today. And Shawnee, Oklahoma Baptist, up 10-4 to four on Swasu. They're in the top of the uh, eighth inning with two out. Harding and Washtaw tied at two in the bottom of the seventh. That was the ball. Uh, and 10-2 uh, to two final Northwestern Oklahoma State defeating East Central in Alba. Hey, there's 1-0 pitch is called for a strike. That's everything except what's going on here, and we need a rally. Yeah, we need a three-up, three-down inning here and just come in and, you know, put up a five spot in the bottom half of the eighth inning. That pitch is lined on in the center field. Chris Lyles had a beat on it but could not make the play, and that ball drops in center field for a leadoff single for the leadoff man for the Wonder Boys. That brings up Grant Jones, the center fielder, who just came off making some great plays out in the outfield in the bottom half of the seventh inning. Grant on the day is one for three with a double down the right field line. First pitch from Adair. It's called a strike. Back pick throw by Rosma to first base. And Cabronez gets in safely. Grant Jones on the year is hitting 275 average with two home runs, 10 RBIs. Adair's 0 1 pitch. Fouled out of play. The count runs to 0 and 2. Adair came in in the top half of the fifth inning, came in in a bases loaded jam in his fourth inning of work. So far, he's thrown three innings. Five hits, giving up one run, one earned. Ball's hit very softly through the left side, and that just finds another hole for the Wonder Boys. And back-to-back back -back singles to lead off the top half of the eighth inning. That brings up the three-hole hitter, Logan Schwenke. Schwenke on the day is one for three. Has a hit by pitch with a double. Excuse me. One for three with a single and a sack bunt. Squares around the bunt, pulls it back, takes it for ball one. Schwenke, their leading home run hitter for the Wonder Boys, who has seven on the year, second in RBIs with 28, and is tied for third on the team with doubles with, with eight and leads the team in triples with three. And he lays down a great bunt down the third base line. Adair fields it, makes a throw over to first for out number one. Another 1-3 one, sack recorded for the 3-0 hitter, Logan Schwenke. And the Mule Riders get one out here in the top half of the eighth inning. 
that brings up Nick Jones to the plate, the designated hitter, who has a two RBI single recorded. Going to get the out at home. First pitch is a ball on the outside corner. Count runs to one and oh. Got Woolbright over at third, Nickel at short, Burroughs at second, Richardson at first. Kind of playing like even with the bases. Next pitch is swung on for strike one. One one count with the one out here in the Duke, Chris Lyles, Mikey McGinnis out in left field in the battery of Austin Adair on the mound and Grant Rosema behind the plate. That ball's hit hard up the middle for a single. Chris Lyles comes in, makes a strong throw. Right cut off, man. And another two RBI single for Nick Jones. Plates two more runs here for the Wonder Boys here in the top half of the inning to now make the score seven to one. Yeah, Nick Jones has kind of had a day today, hasn't he? Yeah, Dave? he really has. Arkansas <laughs> Tech playing good fundamental baseball today, aren't they? They're advancing runners. They're getting the singles when they need to when they get the runners in scoring position. Hey, there's a one pitch to Olea is a called strike. And they got the and they got the one home run, but uh, third, fifth, and now here in the eighth, they've. Uh, Got those runners to in scoring position and single up the middle drives them in. Hey, there's a one pitch is called a strike and kind of like we were talking about in the bottom of the seventh. SAU only has one hit, but it feels like we've had a lot of loud outs, of hard hit balls, and Arkansas Tech just kind of hitting these soft ga- soft balls that are just finding holes. O2 pitch misses outside for ball one. It's a waste pitch. Nobody in the Muir Rider bullpen. I think it's Adairs. He's uh, they just really start ripping him here that they're gonna he's gonna finish this one swung on by Olea on the one two pitch is fouled out of play in right field always worry about the kids down there there's more kids down there than we're at the start of the game yeah I guess the, the jam when they got their games finished at the jamboree they came over here yeah they got the plus we probably got whatever was down at the high school game too when they ended and they won two, by the way. Congratulations, Panthers. One two pitch is grounded to the pitcher. He makes a kind of an athletic throw to first base. I I don't know why he didn't go to second there, considering there was only one out in the inning. He got it he made a leaping stop on it on one hop and came down. Yeah, he's he just uh he didn't didn't seem to even take a look at second, did he? No, with only one out, I thought he'd take a look because Nick Jones is not the fastest guy on the Wonder Boys, but kind of made an audible and just went ahead and go to first. And Adair's 0-1 pitch to Ronaldo is a strike one. We got another now pitch runner bring coming a, in. Yeah, now they're going to bring a speedier runner in there. Now that he's down at second, they're going to try to get an insurance run in. I think the number that went in was 44, Aaron. Yeah, Aaron Hogue. Yeah, Aaron Hogue. Hmm. Yeah, Nick Jones is getting pitch ran for. He had a well of a ball game for the Wonder Boys. He was, he went three for five with two singles. And that ball is hit to shortstop. Built it by Nickel. He makes a throw. Dug out of the turf by Will Richardson at first, and that retires the side for the Wonder Boys. Wonder Boys scored two runs in that inning on three base hits. There was no errors, and there was one runner left on base. After seven and a half innings, the Wonder Boys seven, the Mule Riders one. This is Mule Rider Baseball. 
If you're like most Americans, you spend over eight hours a week in your car. So naturally, you want to be satisfied with its performance. That's why you need to know about Spitler Tire and Auto. Folks around here have been trusting Spitler Tire and Auto for over 17 years. They have 10 service bays to handle all kinds of repairs, tune-ups, brakes, mufflers, oil changes, tires, and more. Whatever your car or truck needs, trust the experts at Spitler Tire and Auto in the Dairy Queen Shopping Center, 521 East Main in Magnolia. Celebrate summer with a great CD rate from People's Bank. We're offering a CD rate of 5.01% annual percentage yield for 10 months. Minimum balance is $1,000. This offer is effective and APY is accurate from June 1st, 2023. It's subject to change at any time. Come see us today at People's Bank. Substantial penalty for early withdrawal. We'll see Bank for details. Member FDIC. My bank is People's Bank. Back to Walker Stadium at Goodhart Field, where the Wonder Boys lead the Mule Riders seven to one. Fans are sticking around, expecting a Mule Rider rally. Mule Riders nationally ranked team, and uh, well, I tell you what, though the the pitching for Arkansas Tech, uh, John Gray has had their number tonight. Yeah, he's gone seven strong, and he's still he's still on the bump for the Wonder Boys as Mikey McGinnis leads off for the Mule Riders. The first pitch is swung on. And that ball's hit high in the dark sky here in Magnolia and gets out of play for strike one. Yeah, there's no wind here tonight so far. That You know it's windy here at uh, Goodhart Field and that flag out there is blowing, and that flag is just laying down. It's not blowing at all. So if you want to get one out, you got to hit it the full, the full length of the field to hit one out here tonight. Gray's 0-1 pitch. Fouled back for strike two. Jackson Dukes over swinging a bat behind the Mule Rider dugout. Out of, out of view of the Arkansas Tech dugout. Gray's 0-2 pitch is outside for ball one. Probably a waste pitch on 0-2. You now I said there was a guy kind of slightly throwing in the bullpen for the Wonder Boys. He is now set down. It is... Right now, it's Gray's game. Yeah. Ball's fouled off, out of play. Well, we don't keep a pitch count here, or at least not that we can see. Uh, so I, I don't know how many pitches he's thrown, but I got to think it's it's a pretty low count because uh, he has not allowed many runners in this game. Just the one hit, the home run, two walks and a hit batter, and that's it. Yeah, four base runners for the Mule Riders, and the one-two pitch misses down and away for ball two. Our last base runner came on a walk by Trey Shute in the fourth inning. So we have gone one, two, three innings in a row with a with three up, three down, and Gray has set down ten mule riders in a row since the walk. The two two pitch swung on and flies into deep left. Left fielder makes a play on it for out number one and that is that is no longer Shane Poe in left that is I can't see that number well, out that was the guy field. probably that came in is it the guy that pitched that's not, for him? that's not him that, either is it I think, no it's not I think that's Grant Jones in left field Grant Jones has moved over from center field to left field to make that play Clay Burrow steps in and he looks at ball one it was a single single digit number yeah, it looked like number eight. Number eight on our roster is Grant Jones. Yeah, that's him. Yeah. And they don't have any numbers on the front of their jerseys, so that makes it hard to identify if it really is him or not. Clay Burrow squares around the bunt, pulls it back, and looks at ball two outside. Well, I'm wondering if uh, if that's not bunt and bunt center. And center, yeah. yeah. That looks like a pretty tall fellow, kind of like Button was. Ball pitches called ball three on inside and that count runs a three and oh do a little twirl for us out there would you and yeah, make a little make a little circle turn so we can see your number the 3 0 pitch from gray to burrows is called strike burrows taking all the way there burrows on the days it's flat out to center and is struck out swinging in the fifth so he's over two looking to get on for his first time today three one pitch is missed low and away for ball four as we finally get that base runner 
that we've been looking for in the last three innings with the one out walk from Clay Burroughs. We need about five more of those. <laughs> and we got a shot. In comes the leadoff man for the Mule Riders, the center fielder, number three, Chris Lyles, who is 0 for 3 on the day with the ground out to short and two flyouts. And he squares around the bunt. That bunt goes right back to the pitcher. I'm not sure if that was meant to be a sacrifice bunt, but it does the job and moves the Burrows over to second. I really doubt it. I think he was trying to bunt for a hit there, but he, he bunted it right back to the pitcher on one hop, so he... Did not uh, did not get it laid down where he wanted to get it laid down. So, for the second time tonight, we have a runner in scoring position for the Mule Riders. That first pitch is hit very high on the infield. Our second baseman Marcos Cabrones calls it, fields it, and that is out number three. So the Southern Arkansas in the bottom half of the eighth inning, we go no runs on no hits. There were no errors, and there was one runner left on base. Through eight innings, the Wonder Boys lead the Mule Riders 7-1. to one. This is Mule Rider Baseball. What do I like about being a local agent for Farm Bureau Insurance? Above all, I like helping people using my insurance experience to make Columbia County a better, safer place. Insurance is a necessity. And I take pride in helping people find the right coverage for all of their needs. Hi, I'm Mike Jones, Agency Manager at Farm Bureau Insurance. Give me a call at 870-234-1966 and let me show you how we can save you time and money. Austin Adair back to the mound for Southern Arkansas. I'm your Riders Trail by a score of 7-1. After the game, Domino's post-game show coming your way. Carry out a deal for only $7.99 at Domino's, including all their one-topping pizzas on any of Domino's five crusts, just $7.99 each at Domino's, East Main and Magnolia, and at Domino's in Camden. Also, after the game, we'll name our People's Bank player of the game. We're hoping that that is yet to happen for the Mule Riders. Uh, bank on the go with People's Bank's mobile banking app. Check balances, deposit checks, view transactions, transfer money, pay bills, find the nearest branch, and more. Bank wherever you are with your local bank, People's Bank, member FDIC. Well, they dare back to the mound for Southern Arkansas. Bottom three in the order due up here for the Wonder Boys. First pitch from Adair on the way, and it's up for ball one. That is Bard, Brent, Brendan Bard, leading off the ninth for Arkansas Tech. They lead seven to one. Pitch on the way. That one misses apparently in. Bard, big, tall, skinny fella. Took that for ball two. Two balls, no strikes. UAM a winner 11 to 4 at home over Henderson today. Fastball inside brushes him back. So the Nazarene won at home 8 to 7 today. Uh, Northwestern Oklahoma State was a winner at home 10 to 2. Nobody winning at home but us. There's another high one and it's ball four. Walked Brendan Bard on four straight pitches. And it'll bring. Yeah, that's, that must be uh, Bunton playing center field now because he's he's still in the game. He's coming to the plate. Yeah, I confirmed with Pumphrey. Bunton did move to center, and the center fielder, Grant Jones, moved to left field. Okay. So Bunton at the plate. He takes a strike. Strike one. Washita and Harding, they're still 2-2. Two -two. Harding batting in the bottom of the eighth. Oklahoma Baptist a winner over Swasu 10 to 4 at Oklahoma Baptist. So again, all the, the home team won in all instances so far in the games that are through. Harding again tied with Washtenaw 2 2 in the bottom of the eighth at Harding. And SAU trailing 7 to 1 in the ninth here in Magnolia. Pitch outside. 
So one ball, two strike count to Brandon Bunton. I think this is going to be Adair's game to finish as there's no mule riders up in the bullpen. Pitches foul back to the backstop. I'm going to say when Adair came into the game, everybody that was in the bullpen came to the dugout and nobody has gone back since. There has not been anybody throwing. Mule riders, uh, well, I think had they generated a little offense, you might have seen somebody go down there, but uh, right now they're down 7-1. That was a foul ball out of play, and it's 1-2 and two on Brandon Bunton. You know, with the 9 and a, with two games tomorrow, you kind of, Adair kind of going longer than normal with his in his fifth inning of work, kind of saving the bullpen a little bit for tomorrow. It's a ball and two strikes to Bunton. Swing and a miss. He's down on strikes. One away. So one on, one out. Cole Dawson will come to the plate for the Wonder Boys here in the top of the ninth inning. I just saw somebody go down that way, but uh, was not anybody wearing a uniform. Or if he was, he was wearing it under his uh, his hoodie or whatever. I think he just went down there to turn off the lights. Oh, off the, off the mitt of the catcher to the backstop. And down to second base goes uh, Brendan Bart. Now the throw to second. Goes this center field, and the runner will take third. Mm, man. So, pass ball. I think we're going to mark that as a pass ball and then an error on the catcher on the throw. That's pretty bad. You have a pass ball and an error on the same play. So he threw it into center field. Second error of the game for SAU. Next pitch foul back out of play. So they got a runner standing at third base, already up seven to one on SAU. You know, on that, both airs have been on throws toward to second base today. Pitch is fouled off to the right side. That's out of play. Look out, kids. Carried over top of them, fortunately. Because if you think back in the first inning, Dan, remember that air was made on a throw that nobody was covering second on. Yeah. So that's our it's a good throw by the catcher, but it yeah, went right on into center field because nobody covered. Infield's in for SAU. The runner at third and one man out. One two pitch coming to Dawson. That's pulled and snagged on a line. Boy, he just picked that right off the turf. Uh Jaden Woolbright at third base snags it just right off the turf. So a line drive out to third base. Yeah, Wilbright's played a great defensive game over at third base. He's made a he's made some really good plays for the Mule Riders tonight. Top of the order now for the uh, Wonder Boys. There's Cabranas to the plate. Cabranas. Pitch misses outside. A breaking pitch from Adair. I was joking about turning the light switch off in the in the bullpen. <laughs> Speaking You're down 7-1. to one. What else can you do? You only got one hit. Here's the 1-0. Fastball outside. Two balls, no strikes. Now, speaking of bullpens, there's nobody down in the Arkansas Tech bullpen even throwing, so it would not surprise me if John Gray comes to finish what he started tonight Yeah. out in the bottom half of the ninth inning. Well, here's the pitch. Uh, it's pulled to the left side. High hopper. Third baseman Woolbright has it, and he throws out. Cabrañas at first base, 5-3 on the putout to retire the Wonder Boys. So no runs in the inning on no hits. There was one error and one man left aboard. We go to the bottom of the ninth. SAU trails 7-1. to one. This is Mule Rider Baseball. I'm Faith Armstrong. If you worry about your safety or your loved ones, Columbia County Ambulance Service would like you to know about CareLink. CareLink provides an instant link to emergency response every minute, every day. The standard version provides protection surrounding the home, and a mobile unit offers protection anywhere. The area covered includes Columbia, Hempstead, Nevada, Washita, Lafayette Counties, and Claiborne Parish. Call Columbia County Ambulance today to schedule your installation. 
The Magnolia Regional Medical Center General Surgery Clinic at 1005 North Jackson in Magnolia is excited to introduce to Magnolia Dr. Jose Zamora, General Surgeon. Dr. Zamora brings more than 30 years of surgery experience to Southwest Arkansas and looks forward to serving our community. Dr. Zamora performs most types of general surgery procedures and takes direct appointments or referrals from your primary care provider. Call the MRMC General Surgery Clinic today to schedule your appointment, 870-235-3600. John Gray does indeed go out for the uh, ninth inning for the Wonder Boys. I just hope they don't have any more, uh, any more like this guy that we're going to be seeing tomorrow. Meal Riders do have the meat of the order due up here in the ninth inning. They're going to need a lot of base runners. They're down 7-1 to one as we go into the bottom of the ninth. Brandon Nickel leads off for SAU. First pitch to him. Fastball is foul back out of play. Nickel is 0 for 3, but uh, didn't have to feel like the Lone Ranger on that. Everybody is 0 for except Trey Shoup. He has the only mule rider hit a solo homer with two out in the second. The 0 1. Fastball in there, first strike. So Nickel quickly in the hole. No balls, two strikes. Yes, Shoup has the only hit and is the only mule rider to reach base more than once tonight. The pitch outside, one ball, two strikes, two nickel. So people are wondering who our People's Bank player of the game might be. <laughs> that might have been a might have been a good indication. Here's the pitch to nickel, a little outside, it's two and two. Gray has pitched eight innings, given up one hit, one run. It was earned. He's walked three, struck out five. Putting his toe on the pitching rubber for a 2-2 pitch to Brandon Nickel. On the way. And right back to him off his bare hand. He knocks it down. It kind of goes behind him. And Nickel's going to beat it out at first base. He just hit it to the wrong side of the body of John Gray. We've had numerous one-hoppers back to the mound in this ball game today. And that one just went on the wrong side of Gray. And he... Uh, he had to go off of his bare hand and land behind him. And now the umpires, or the coach rather, is going to come out and talk to his pitcher, maybe make sure he's, I would think more than anything, make sure he's okay. Yeah, I think he's probably making sure he's okay, but, you know, also maybe buying some time for the guy in the bullpen. And, no, Dan, the guy in the bullpen acts like he's coming into the ball game. I mean, he stopped throwing immediately, and he's walking out like he's just ready to go. I'm not sure of a number on that guy in the out in the bullpen. No. This might have been Coach Dawson. He might have might have been thinking, okay, unless he lets somebody unless somebody gets on base, uh, it's Gray's game. But uh, well, nope, Coach Dawson's going back to the dugout, so he's leaving Gray in. Yeah, in the bullpen is number six, Grant Shahan. He's a senior right-handed pitcher from Sherwood, Arkansas, out of North Little Rock High School. He's one of three guys on their team with saves. Yeah, whenever, when he, when the, when coach went out to the mound, he immediately stopped his warm up. Pitch comes, fastball, line drive, right at, boy, he hit it on the nose, but right at the shortstop. Cole Dawson for the first out of this inning. And Will Richardson, he has just been knocking the fire out of the ball tonight, but it's always been at somebody or, or in the first uh, in the first at bat back in the second inning. It was just foul, of a ball that would have been a home run. Will Richardson probably has the loudest 0 for 4 night in your yeah. outer baseball history. Yep, that's out number one. There's a pitch that misses to Jaden Woolbright. One on, one out for SAU in the bottom of the ninth. You know, and you know, Dan, like, Rickson's not the only one that's had loud outs today. No, no, he's not. Pitch comes. He pulls that one foul. Ball on a strike. Trey Shoop on deck. Wilbright steps back in the box. Pitch comes in the dirt, and that gets away. And down to second base goes Nickel on a wild pitch. 
Yeah, kind of spiked the ball in the dirt and said the catcher kind of dropped and blocked, and he tried to tried to pick that ball kind of like an infielder, and it just kind of went right off his glove, and Nickel goes a second, and now we're out of the double play ball. Two balls and a strike. The pitch comes, goes to right with it, down the right field line. That's going to get down for a base hit as it goes to the corner. Nickel rounds third. He's on his way to the plate, and standing up at second is Jaden Woolbright. So Woolbright goes the other way, doubles down into the corner, and the Mule Riders have another run on the board. That has been a long time coming since the second inning, and now we're going to have a pitching change. Yeah, Woolbright, I mean, we've had a lot of balls that have been hit hard in this ball game, and, you know, that one finds a hole out in deep right field, hits a double, scores a run, and, you know, it took eight and a third, but John Gray, John Gray had a well of a ball game pitching today through eight and a third. And gave up three hits, two runs, both earned, and, you know, he makes way to one of the few uh, Wonder Boys that have a save on the year in Grant Shahan. Well, let's just keep it going against the new pitcher. Uh, got a runner at second base with one out, one run in at 7-2 to Arkansas Tech. We're in the bottom of the ninth. This is Mule Rider Baseball. After I drop the kids off, I have to run across town for a meeting, hit the gym during lunch, Jake has soccer tonight, and Emily has gymnastics? Oh, did I turn on the crock pot this morning? <laughs> With a never-ending to-do list, it's easy to forget something important, like setting up a life insurance plan with Shelter Insurance. Your local shelter agent can show you how to create a safety net for your family. Shelter Life Insurance Company, Columbia, Missouri. Ask shelter agent Gary Donfera about a free personal protection review today. Tri-County Oil is a proud sponsor of SAU Mule Rider Sports. Tri-County is your number one source for a complete line of Exxon Mobil Oils, K1 Kerosene, Mineral Spirits, antifreeze, no tax farm diesel, tax paid road diesel, and 91 octane non-ethanol gasoline, plus gear oil, grease, motor and hydraulic oil, transmission fluids, and more. Tri-County Oil on North Vine in Magnolia. Open Monday through Friday, 7 to 5. Why would you go anywhere else for oil or gas? We appreciate your business at Tri-County Oil. As leaders in the automotive industry, Magnolia Motor Company believes in going the extra mile for our customers. That's why we offer only the best inventory with competitive pricing designed to fit your budget and make the vehicle of your dreams become reality. And that's not all. At Magnolia Motor Company, we value your time and convenience. That's why we offer a virtual shopping experience, allowing you to explore our inventory from the comfort of your own home. We are conveniently located on the 7982 Bypass in Magnolia. Call 234-4777 or visit our website at magnoliamotorcompany.com. Magnolia Motor Company. Quality first. Grant Shahan enters the game for Arkansas Tech, a 2-0 record, 3.06 ERA. This is his 13th appearance. He has two saves on the season. That pitch down low for ball one opponent sitting just 231 against him. So runner at second base with one out. SAU still down by five, so still going to need a lot of base runners. Pitch low to shoot. One ball, no strikes. Another pitch comes. That's low and away. Two balls, no strikes. Well, we've seen the Mule Riders uh, come back from further down than this. But they don't have much time to do it here with just uh, just two outs left. There's one he's taken all the way. Took a strike down the middle, two and one. Shoots had a been the only Mule Rider to get on twice tonight, so... Kind of the guy you want up at the plate in this position right here to keep it going. Well, we need him on three times. Here's the pitch. He took it low and outside, three balls and a strike. Yeah, walk would be wonderful. Got to have. Got to get it to the next guy. Yeah. Got to have three, at least three more base runners, right? Here's the pitch. He pulls it through the hole on the left side. And they'll hold the runner at third base as uh, you don't take a chance there. A single through the left side for Trey Shoup, and he becomes the first Mule Rider with a multi-hit game. Two hits in the inning. Three hits in the inning, excuse me. Yeah, that ball Trey hit was hit hard through the left side. The third baseman didn't have any chance to react to it, and you know, we got runners on the corners with one out with Carter Clairhout up at the up at the up at the plate. Mule Riders. Shoop gets his lead over at first. Not a very big lead. The pitch to Claire Hout is a strike. 
was uh, must have been down around the knees. I think it was taken all the way there, regardless. Taken until he gets a strike. From the stretch, Shahan's pitch. That's popped back and going to get out of play, I hope. Go, 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 go. Catching up. Catcher's got a play. He dropped it. He had a play as he came back to the backstop and stuck out his mitt. The ball kind of was uh, coming back to him, and he stuck out his mitt, and he just dropped it. No, that's probably one of the hardest plays for a catcher to make there. You kind of were hoping your first baseman would come up and call off the catcher, but you know another life for Carter Clairhout, and let's see if he can capitalize on that extra life at the, at the plate. 0-2 pitch to Clairhout. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. First base is occupied. That was a breaking pitch. It ended up down in the dirt. So Clairhout strikes out. And that's out number two. So Muir Riders down to their last out. As Mikey McGinnis strolls up to the plate for SAU. It's all riding on you, Mikey. Mikey walked and was stranded in the second. He's had a couple of hard hit balls. The pitch comes, fastball missed in for ball one. All right, nobody make the last step. We need more base runners. The pitch on the way, a swing and a miss at a breaking pitch for strike one. I don't think Coach P down in the third base coaching box was wanting Mikey to swing at that pitch right there. I think we were supposed to be taken until you get a strike in this situation. The pitch is inside. Got to have two more base runners. A grand slam wouldn't do it. Wouldn't tie it up. Got to have one more Got one it. more guy. One guy come in and load him up and uh, then the grand slam would tie it. 2-1 pitch and Mikey round ball to the left side charging third baseman Bard. Bard throws low on a hop, though. He gets him at first base. Schwenke able to dig it over at first base, and Arkansas Tech takes game one of this three-game series. The Muir Riders come up with one run in this uh, ninth inning on three base hits, no errors, and two men left on base. Seven to two, Arkansas Tech is the final. We've got our Domino's postgame show coming up. This is Muir Rider Baseball. The Greenhouse Cottages of Wentworth Place have been recognized as Arkansas's top short-term rehabilitation and long-term care facility by U.S. News and World Report. At Wentworth Place, their mission is to provide the highest quality care to their residents, and they are honored to receive this prestigious award. Their cottages are homes large enough to comfortably accommodate 12 elders with private rooms, complete bath, a shared living room, open kitchen, dining area, and a spa located in the heart of Magnolia. It's the Greenhouse Cottages of Wentworth Place. Visit cottagesofwentworthplace.com. At L. Jennings Law, we understand that your legacy isn't just about assets. It's about family, future, and impact. Specializing in estate planning, elder law, and disability, we bring big firm expertise to our local community. Whether you're looking to protect your hard-earned wealth, navigate the complexities of elder care, or secure disability rights, we're here for you. Dial 501-501-WILL or visit LJenningsLaw.com. Now with offices in Magnolia and Little Rock, L. Jennings Law, a good steward firm. Welcome back on our Domino's postgame show. Carry out a deal for only $7.99 at Domino's, including all their one-topping pizzas for only $7.99. No, any of Domino's five crusts, also eight-piece wings or boneless chicken and Domino's dip and bread twist combos too. Just $7.99 each. Some fabulous carry-out deals from Domino's on East Main and Magnolia and at Domino's in Canada. We'll name our People's Bank player of the game in uh, in just a little bit here for you. Seven runs on 13 hits, no errors. 12 men left aboard for Arkansas Tech. For Southern Arkansas, it was two runs on four hits with two errors and six men left on base. It all comes down to the, uh, the man on the mound for Arkansas Tech in this game as he pitched a, uh, a dandy and was able to carry them into the ninth inning and get through the, the first out in the ninth inning. Talking about uh, Gray, John Gray, for the uh, for the Wonder Boys. 
who will be the winning pitcher in this one tonight. He goes eight and a third. Gave up three hits, two runs. They were both earned. He walked three and struck out five. So John Gray, the winner, goes to five and two. And then Grant Shahan came on and uh, pitched the uh, the final two thirds of an inning, giving up just uh, just one hit, and uh, then got the next two batters uh, to retire the Mule Riders and secure the victory for Southern Arkansas. Jeremy Adorno went uh, four innings for SAU giving up six hits, four runs. Uh, all four of those were earned. He walked three and struck out three. Austin Adair then pitched the final five innings for the Mule Riders, giving up seven hits, three runs. They were all earned, walked one, and uh, struck out one. So those are your, uh, your, uh, your pitching numbers on the day. Uh, Southern Arkansas with just one guy with multiple hits. That was Trey Shoup. As we mentioned, he had the solo homer in the second inning and then singled in the ninth. Plus, he also walked. So, Trey Shoup was aboard three times tonight for, for Southern Arkansas. But uh, just not enough. And as uh, as Coach Justin Pettigrew joins us tonight, again, Coach, uh, that, uh, that, that guy that John Gray, uh, that, that Arkansas Tech threw out there, was uh, he, he pitched the game of his life tonight. Yeah, he threw really well. I mean, he's been a good starter for him last year and this year. And, uh, it's one of those where we had an approach, um, you know, going against him, and uh, he pretty much pitched right to the approach. Uh, we've just got to do a little bit better job of making sure that we stick with what, you know, Coach Caples puts on scouting reports and, and things like that and be able to execute those. Um, but really, I mean, Friday night he went out, you know, threw extremely well. Uh, you know, we gave up a couple of runs there, I guess, in like the third inning. Uh, you know, right after Shoup hit the home run, we, you know, come back and, and give him two. And, you know, really from there on, I mean, it was it was pretty much a butt kicking. That's all there is to it. I mean, I think, let's see, we walked four. Yeah, we walked four, um, you know, and that's just part of it. They, they did a good job with two strike hitting, did a jo- good a job when we brought the infield in, you know, pressuring the ball or hitting the ball in the middle of the field. And, and so tip your hat to those guys. You know, they were they were better than us tonight. You know, as far as numbers, we were better on the, you know, pitching side of it coming in. As far as ERA, we were better run scored. Uh, but that's why games aren't played on paper. You right. know, they're played on the field. And, and tonight they handed it to us in, in front of our home crowd. And, and all, you know, th- three of their innings where they, where they end up scoring two runs, they get their first two guys on, and then they're able to yeah. play small ball and then get the, get yep. the clutch hit. And they executed, and that's that's the thing. I mean, that's we've got to do a little bit better job as one setting the table and then when we do have an opportunity you know don't wait till the ninth inning to get a little bit of energy and start you know hitting some balls to the back side of the field and through the middle and and getting some barrels uh you know we had some barrels that didn't fall center field and made a great play we lined out a couple times some different things like that but we've just got to be better overall especially on a friday night against a guy that you know you can't let him settle into a rhythm which he did and, and he was in control you know honestly you know the entire entire game there until they took him out yeah jeremy 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 not 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 a not a great game tonight, but uh, not a terrible night either. Yeah, it, I mean, four inning, six hits, four runs, you know, three walks, three Ks. I mean, I think command was an issue a little bit. Not necessarily just the the walks, but when you're ahead, you know, and it's not just Jeremy. It was our, you know, it was eight air as well. You know, when you've got, uh, you know, two strikes on guys, being able to expand the zone with pressure pitches and, you know, we left some pitches up out over the plate or, you know, we didn't get the ball out far enough or in far enough. And so it's one of those things where, you know, we just got to be better as a team. Well, three-game series. We'll come back and get two tomorrow. Yes, sir. All right. Thank you. Thanks, Coach. Coach Justin Pettigrew uh, joining us here after the game. Again, the final uh, 7-2 to two, Southern Arkansas falling to the Wonder Boys of Arkansas Tech as we continue on our uh, Domino's postgame show. Again, seven runs, 13 hits, no errors, 12 left for Arkansas Tech and for uh, Southern Arkansas, two runs, four hits, two errors, six left. Jeremy Adorno takes the loss. Again, pitched uh, the first four innings of this one, plus uh, the first uh, three batters in the fifth inning before before he was pulled, giving up a double, a single, and a, and a hit by pitch. And uh, two of those guys come in to score. And again, kind of this, the, the same recipe, like we said, Connor, that uh, they, they come out there, they the third inning, the first two batters a walk and a hit by pitch. They they sacrifice, then they get the single up the middle. And the the fifth inning, that fifth inning, which was Adorno's last, 
a double, a single, a hit by pitch, and then you know they get it done. They get the single up the middle, and kind of the same same deal in the eighth inning as the first two guys get aboard, and they they find a way to to uh, to, to advance them, and then uh, bring them in on a on another single up the middle. Uh, the, you know, then they had the one solo home run. Yeah, uh, the free pass is really kind of what aided some of those runs early in the game. But, you know, the Mule Riders, we had a lot of hard outs tonight where, you know, we had a lot of hard line outs, great plays by the Wonder Boys in the outfield on defense. And, you know, they just kind of found the holes tonight. I mean, that's yeah. just kind of how baseball is sometimes where, you know, sometimes you can hit the ball hard and not get on base. And sometimes you can not hit a single ball hard and get on all four times. That's just kind of how... The game. We got two. We got to go sweep the double hitter tomorrow to, to take the series tomorrow. It's kind of the way you look at it. You just pointed out another reason why I don't like all the exit velocity and all that other BS. It just comes down to hit them where they ain't. Yeah, you, I mean, we <laughs> it doesn't matter how hard you hit it. If you hit it at somebody, it's an out. Shoop hit a home run in the second inning, and the next hole that we really found was Woolbright's ball in the ninth inning. So we went seven innings without nope. finding a gap in the outfield or even on the infield. So, I mean, you're just kind of, you know, you just kind of, you kind of got to swallow this pill, look, get past this one, and just look to sweep the doubleheader tomorrow and keep, keep your lead growing in the Great American Conference. Yeah, I don't know how many times tonight we said, Boy, well, hit that one hard, but it was right at the right at the right at the center fielder, right at the left fielder, right at the shortstop. Whoever it was, right at somebody. We had a bunch of those that seemed like in this game tonight. Yeah, the good thing is you came into tonight with a two-game lead in the Great American Conference standings. So, Mule Riders will still be alone in first base after uh, after tonight, but uh, need to come back and uh, get her done tomorrow again. SAU was the only home team who got beat tonight in the Great American Conference. Yeah, every, all the other home teams were won, were winners. Arkansas, Monticello, Southern Nazarene, Oklahoma Baptist, Harding, and Northwestern Oklahoma State, they were all winners tonight. So everybody playing two tomorrow, and um, hopefully the Mule Riders can uh, take care of business and get a couple tomorrow. Yeah, kind of like you said, they came in with a two-game lead. I mean, kind of had a little set back here, but... You know, sweep the doubleheader tomorrow, and guess what? No matter what happens around the conference, you're still first in the Great yep, American yep. Conference. You're still on, you're still on top, and uh, getting ready for a long road trip. And and yeah, we got that long road trip coming up to Southwestern Oklahoma State. So uh, you know, things have a way of going bad, bad for you sometimes on the road. So we need to get every win we we can until we get there, and uh, and hopefully take care of business there as well next week. But uh, anyway, Connor, enjoyed it. I guess I'll see you back here again tomorrow. Yeah, Dan, I just want to say uh, thank you for asking me to do this. I mean, it's kind of, you know, I remember, I think I was on here as a little as a little boy one time. And, you know, <laughs> I don't remember what all I was on here doing. But, you know, I, you know, I hope mom and dad back home are listening with the family. And, you know, it's just kind of a, you know, I've always, cliche, I've always dreamed of doing this with you, Dan. And I'm glad I get the honor to do it with the SAU Hall of Famer. I got the impression that. Back, back when, when Zach was a little kid, it's like Zach wanted to be here, but then later on as he got older, he didn't want anything to do with this. And then you were kind of the opposite, that you kind of grew into it, and then, and then you kind of worked your way in. Yeah, everybody asks me now because, you know, my dad does PA for football, basketball, and some volleyball games. Everybody asks me, are you next? Well, I guess this is the first step. <laughs> You're already doing the PA for Magnolia, right? At football, yeah, I've already, so. I've already started making that next step, but, yeah, I you know, tough, tough outcome for the Murrays tonight. But Dan, I, I enjoyed my first game on the radio. Had a well, had a great guy to do it with. You. I enjoyed having you. We'll 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 hopefully get a couple tomorrow. We're gonna we'll find an opportunity tomorrow to after after Jeff gets done playing around at the golf course, we'll get we'll get him in here and let let y'all do a, do a little bit uh, together tomorrow. So that ought to ought to be some fun too. Hopefully in a winning cause. Yeah, hopefully. Hopefully in, two, in a couple of winning hopefully two, causes. Two wins yeah. tomorrow. Two wins tomorrow. That's right. But tonight. SAU falling. The Mule Riders fall to 15 and 7 in the GAC, 23 and 12 overall. Arkansas Tech, uh, they're 14 and 8 now in the GAC, 23 and 13 overall. 7 to 2 is the final tonight for Connor Harrington and for Connor Rambo back at the studio. I'm Dan Gregory. So long from Goodhart Field.